say it's Paps Blue River this Paps, beer. Yeah. It's a decent beer. Yeah. Wait, what was it? Paps Blue Ribbon. Yeah, Paps? Yeah, P A B P A B P T S. Mm-hmm. Paps. I've never heard of that. It's Can like I have Canadian. my phone back like in? I got a uh, two, four, six, eight. Nine more. All right, so, we'll just wait till Nick's ready. Paps Blue Ribbon. I can keep saying it. You just let me know when he's said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No, because I want my uh, my phone for notes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Stu, what do you say? Uh, I was going to say, a Paps Blue Ribbon is like a hipster's Bud Light. A hipster's Bud Light, huh? Yeah, it's basically the same flavor. It's just a different kind of people buy it. <laughs> yep. Oh, there we go. That's Two in. more. Two more coming. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to turn the vibration up. And also, I was just actually started God recording this, so. Yeah, fucking nice. I, I, sent, I sent two, and it's like, no, oh, can't do two at a time. I was like, maybe I can expedite this a little bit. So, yeah, guys, <laughs> Stu's trying to do. Nick's trying to send some videos oh off his God. phone, off his shit fucking iPhone. My yeah. iPhone 8. Yeah, now those two just So, we're just uh, chilling, starting this podcast a little differently. It's been a while mm-hmm. since the podcast. This one won't be out for uh, another, like, two weeks or so, because the other one I'm going to... It'll come out tomorrow, as of today, because today is what April 9th. April 9th is today. Give it up for it. The April Lord's 9th. Day. Nice. Is it the Lord's Day? No, it's it sure is. Every day is the Lord's Day. He's, he's drunk. He's <clears throat> drunk. You guys, drunk. you guys saw from that popsicle. Video. I'm drunk off dirt. That that uh that slushy that you had that was pretty strong. I got the I next one, Nick. Oh, yeah. yeah, how the fuck <clears throat> is it? Oh, this is great. That shit was so. Like you said, man, I I I can take down some vodka. Irish That's people. That's what I've been drinking for years. Irish people, guys. Irish, just, just people who drink alcohol a lot. Yeah, uh, I guess so. Every yeah. day I come home from work and I pick a cocktail. But you don't like beer that much. I'm pretty fond of beer. I don't like, uh, don't like uh, IPAs. IPAs oh, like I fucking, fucking love. stone. Uh, Get the fuck There's out actually of uh, an IPA that, that I went to when I went to uh, LG Steakhouse with my brother before he left. It was, uh, you know, yes, I understand how you like you know, don't like it because of the taste, but I like that herby taste. But yeah. this one, this one, I know I saved that picture. What the fuck is it? It's actually there. It is the the dudes. This is like Dude. the best fucking IPA I've ever had. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, that's a cool logo, but I wouldn't drink it. Oh, I know it's out delicious. The can. It's delicious. Still, I'm gonna send you that so you put it in the nice, nice. It's very. Uh, I really like uh, that one. I've only had it that one time. I was like, wow, that's like for out of IPAs, all the ones I've had, this that one right on top. It definitely tastes like some kind of like mysterious brew of medicine, but that made out of herbs. But I, I really like IPA. Yeah, well, it's because we're Mexican, you know. Yeah, uh, you've been drinking beer since you were eight, literally, literally who? eight years old. Who you? Me? Yeah. Why are you talking shit about me? I'm not talking shit. I'm, I'm talking facts. Yeah, I've, 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 well, yeah, I've had beer since I was eight. <laughs> That's right. That's pretty Hispanic. Yeah. Why do you think yeah. I'm so fucked up right now? I, I did it at then to deal with the trauma. Yeah, man, now, now you're a musical genius. Oh, I'm not a fucking musical genius. Did you, did you do some good? I am nowhere near a musical genius. I'm a musical yeah, man. man. Yeah, man. Music man. Oh, that's close enough. You're a man can embodied I, by music. Can I ask for a hot take? Yeah. Do you do you think that Kanye West is a musical genius? As a musician? Uh-huh. And everything as Kanye West as a rapper? I really love Kanye West. He's one of my favorite rappers. An album of his that... My most favorite album from Kanye West, actually, because he has a lot, you know, that yeah. he's done. Because his first album came out, I believe, in 98, 99, around there. Which and that's is, my uh, favorite album, The College, College Boy Dropout. That was a good one. I have that one. I related to that one so hard, the things he was talking about in there. And when I heard that album, when I was on my streak of listening to Kanye West, uh, all of his albums, mm-hmm. I was just like, that one's the one that I that always just like sticks to that one. I'm just like, damn, I can relate so hard to that. And I am like on a different level. I just, and it's good. He's also a really good rapper too. Like he's very uh-huh. uh, clear with his uh, enunciations and pronunciations of like his phrases and stuff in his, in his lines. Of course, uh-huh. as an actual person though, motherfucker's crazy and needs help. But <laughs> yeah, as yeah. a musical guy, you know, it's, I, I respect it a lot. Okay. I don't know. I don't know much about his shit, but I, I, I hear like, like a lot of artists, his earlier work is better. I don't, but I don't, I don't, I don't have much, much deep insight into all that shit. In my opinion, yeah, his earlier work is a lot better. I can't remember the name of uh, the of this album. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm, I'm looking up. I'm like, I gotta download that one too. That one was really fucking good. It has an orange background. I can't fucking remember. I'm a fake fan. Is it, but... is it uh, Life of Pablo? Maybe. So that was that's the orange background. It's Life of Pablo over and over. It's oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 that one. 
I think this is his seventh studio album. Now I say I know nothing about it. It's like, oh, that album, Life Bubble, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool with the answer. Well, yeah, because you probably have heard like like the most popular thing from like you're like, oh, I know that. You know, one. From the Ace Three podcast, one of their producers, Ian, he used to be a super huge fan of uh, Kanye. He made like a PowerPoint on Kanye that they showed. Oh, that really? was while it was coming out, so uh, that's why sorry, I know a little bit. Things? No, that's AB. AB, okay, yeah, yeah. Ian's yeah right there. There. So I would say, I'll go back on because it just popped in my head. The Life of Pablo. And College Boy Dropout. They're both like 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 12, 15 years apart. And even then, from that distance, I feel it's really good. His recent album, uh, Donda. 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 Or Donda. Donda. Donda, 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 Donda whatever. Donda, I say Donda. Donda. Whatever, Donda. Isn't that how it opens? Donda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Donda. Like, it's like two Donda. minutes, right? Yeah, skip that. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but so, so then here, do you think it's a genius for, for things like that? Because that's a risky move to say Donda for two minutes straight. <laughs> well, because look at this point. He At this point in his career, you know, he has so many albums out right now. And he has a big fan base. No matter what he puts out, people are still going to buy it. So oh. at this point, he's just he can experiment and do whatever he wants with it oh, to okay. stay modern, but also kind of try to stay true to himself as well. Oh. You know, so he, he tries different things, obviously. Things maybe don't work sometimes, but hey, he's going to try it now because mm-hmm. he... That's the thing, like, how I feel about when it comes to being a musician, if I ever get to that point one day, it would be nice if I have the span of, like, 10 plus albums, like, of stuff that I would make. Uh, honestly, that's what I would like. Yeah. Because it's it's nice and it's really interesting to point to see. I think I brought this up before as well, so I don't want to stay on it too long. But when you see an artist that you like from where they started, and you see how their music grows over time by looking at their albums. Because, you know, uh, what they started with will always be the thing that sticks to people the most because that's where they find their most comfort. And then over time, you just hear the things like, it's still them, but they're doing something different to keep up with the times, you know? Mm-hmm. But like I said, I don't want to stay in the top too long. I've talked about this way yeah, before. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's just the beautiful thing about music. But yeah, The Life of Pablo, it's a great fucking Kanye West album. I don't like uh, Donda too much, but... It was like Drake's recent album too. What was it? The one with the emojis on it. I listened to it. I can't oh, remember yeah, the name of it. That was, that was dumb. Yeah, yeah. I listened to it. That wasn't terrible. too bad, but that album didn't really stick to me. It didn't really stick to me that much. In, in general, Drake's music is beautiful. You know, great rapper like, but it doesn't stick to me that much like some of the other rap artists that I listened to. First, it just it wasn't my cup of tea. Drake. He has good songs. This yeah. is not when I think of a rapper. I'm like, oh, Drake. No, that's just. I always think of him as like a girl's rapper. Like, girls <laughs> like his music. Because <laughs> oh. he, he, he was paraplegic on fucking Degrassi. Oh, really? Yeah, Drake is in Degrassi. But he was a like black kid in a wheelchair. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Why do you know? I don't know. Does that, I mean, you know, I guess he just had a music career going on parallel to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his before, after, or during. So, yeah. yeah. Good actor. He wasn't bad. I don't know. I remember my mom. Told me I couldn't watch. I, I didn't watch. I didn't watch the show to begin with. But she told me I couldn't watch Zoe One Hundred and One because that around that was when she had like a, some sort of like pregnancy scandal or some fucking shit. Zoe, oh, whatever wow. the fuck. Oh yeah, that's why yeah. the show got canceled because she was pregnant. Exactly. Yeah. So I didn't watch that show, but she told me like, you can't watch. It. I was like, wait, what the fuck? What? What? This is a girl show. What? What even? What? 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 Why are you? What yeah. Is, it doesn't make any what? Well, let's be in. You think she just passed out with Fox News on? I don't know. There's only one one pregnant woman. Fox News. That propaganda fucking bullshit. Protect the children. Uh, Nick. Pregnant bitches. You can't see this. Oh, no. (laughs) CNN told me this. God, I... One American News told me. I don't even feel bad for parents who have those reactions, because that was a pretty normal reaction to have to the news. Yeah. Like, oh, Pokemon is satanic? All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or, sure. It's on the news. Well, because they are on the news, of course. Like, yeah. it's real. They're it's on the news. They, are they only report real fucking shit. And getting in these animal fights is like, it's like dog fighting. But virtual creatures, what are we teaching these kids? Well, that was the, that was the, the PETA. Angle. Wow. Was that the PETA angle for that? Yeah. That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it was like oh my showing God. animals killing each other. And then I think they made a version of Pokemon with gore to <sighs> exemplify that point. It was weird. See, that's just getting the wrong message across at that point because the whole fucking concept of Pokemon started. What was I can't remember his name. Me, uh, is it Miyazaki Miyamoto? No, but he's like, no. he like catching bugs. Is right? that I believe? Yeah, 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 he would catch bugs with his friends, his kids, and whoever would collect the most like would win. Yeah. You know, it's a simple concept from that. Just expanded. It. It's not violent in any way necessary because these things aren't real. Obviously, you know, the in the games and in the anime, it's it's a cartoon. It's not real. You can say the same thing as a counter, like. Uh, this isn't uh, the, the same genre, but it's still anime. But like with lolly porn for hentai, it's just little girls oh, and stuff, yeah. and it's not real, you yes. know. But it's still legal. That was a hard left. Let me tell you, hard left. There is a, there is a, there there are two. 
there's an a two stamp points sorry two stamp codes in my notes of when you guys started talking about lollies in uh, Final <laughs> Fantasy or God, God damn it. Final Fantasy Kingdom, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts I'm so flummoxed and I still don't know what to do about that <laughs> do I cut around it do I let you guys no fly? well I mean because look at it like you know because it's it's a big off topic of debate as well especially in the yeah. community not here um, uh, here obviously in Japan not so much but you know. But like it, it goes to the same factor. It, it's not, per, it's not portraying as bad as people are making it to be. Just because it does, it goes against their beliefs and their ideals when it comes to this, you know, stereotypical like political like Bible fucking shit that comes in their mind. Mm. You know, it's just ridiculous in my phone. People make arguments like that. Pokemon's uh, like you said, Pokemon's fucking horrible, and then fucking horror movies will fucking fuck up kids and shit. Like. Shut the fuck up. What Black Sabbath about? makes you a Satanist. Oh my god, metal music, music, yes, but... No. <laughs> it's okay. It's right. no, sh- that's not why I heard it. No, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to cut that. <laughs> yeah, you better fucking cut that. But I mean, I would never become a Satanist if I listen to Black Sabbath. It's just crazy. Well, you know, there's yeah. a difference between a Satanist and someone like who worships the devil, right? You know? Yeah. Yeah, there's, people get those uh, two uh, terms uh, uh, in commonly fucking... Uh, Misconceptualize them well, when it comes to fucking uh, like what a Satan is, not what an actual like a person who worships Satan would do in an aspect, you know? Yeah, because I actually I had uh, I had one friend whose parents are satanic, and they had like a worship room, red velvet, fucking statue of Beelzebub. Yeah, it's like they were full on like actual satanic people. They were cool. They were fine. Yeah, they were normal people. They just believe this other thing. There was a video. <clears throat> uh, I think you guys know Anthony Padilla, right? Yeah. Where he he does this new series now, and it's really great that right, he, does, he interviews people. people. Yeah, yeah, and one of them was Satanist. I don't remember much in the video, so if you guys want to go check that out more, maybe I'll put I'll put a link in, in the description oh, of this video so you guys actually check that out. Those videos are really great, and like they're just talking like like you said, like how your friends' parents are normal people, just cool. They yeah. just Satanism was. From what I remember, it was just the thing about, you know, in your beliefs, as long as, like, they kind of just don't fuck with anybody else. It's yeah. kind of like the liberal side of being a religious, per- a religious it, person. Yeah. They're, think about it. they're really, they really just... Kind of. A little bit. Not yeah. completely, but... I mean, do you remember Alyssa Knight from high school? Yeah, big titty bitch, yeah. Yeah, her mom was a Satanist. Nice. Oh. That's why... Yeah. yeah. She had a big titty bitch. That, that's why she was so hot. Because yeah. her mom was like, yeah, just fucking... Just be, be, she instilled in her a sense of self-confidence. Oh. And you can do what you want. Oh, no. Just, like, be fucking whatever. And also, she was just born with natural big titties. So it was like, oh, yeah, she's just auto hot. I know. I was thinking that she conjured a black magic to make a super hot daughter. Well, that's that's oh, also yeah, entirely maybe. possible. But regardless, I she was hot. And her mom was a Satanist. And uh, to be frank, her mom was probably hot. Yeah, probably. Oh, probably. Sa- Satanists and alt chicks... Usually hot. Yeah. The only time they're not hot is when they're fat. Sometimes still, if you <laughs> if you're desperate if, enough, if you're desperate, and drunk enough, you're just like fuck it. For me, it's more like, are you doing things that other women don't do? Because then that now that's an angle. <laughs> yeah. You may be a little, little, little thick, but I mean, if you if you eat the scrum, then sure. If you're drunk you enough. I'm talking, yeah. about, I'm talking about like fat, fat. Oh, okay. I'm not talking about like uh, thick is fine. I'm fine with some with some thick woman. That's fine. Go fuck. I'm talking about fat. When I say oh. fat. I mean fucking fat. Like like pronouns in their in like their fat uh, bio name they mean fat. I just, just when they're just obese, like boring on like getting to the point where it's like this is medically unfit for you to be this size. Yeah, I went on a thick is fine, but fat is no. Yeah, I went on a date with a chick one time. Great girl, but like you know she would tell me we we're talking, and like she never posted a picture of her body's on like this Tinder profile. But like uh, she was just like she's like I'm fat. I'm just like oh, I mean I, I can't be too too bad, you know. Like, well, and then like. It was, uh, it, was, yeah, it was that bad. It was she, worse she, she showed me pictures of how she was before, though. She lost a lot of weight and she kept going, which is nice. But I mean, you know, I'm just, I don't, I really hate to say this because, like, I really do like the personality when it comes to a personal life. But, like, I think everyone has, like, like that fucking common thread where it's just like maybe physical appearance does matter to you a it, little bit. Yeah, in specific it, it, ways. You, yeah. You can't, you, no matter how much you think it's, oh, it's a cool person, you're not going to want to be in a relationship with someone if they don't match what you were attracted to physically. Yeah. That's but what part of relationships are. It's physical intimacy. If you're, not, if you're not willing to be physically intimate with this type of person, then it doesn't fucking matter. It's like being gay or whatever. That's, that's just the way you're fucking born. A gay person's not going to want to fuck with, with a woman just because that's not what they're into. Yeah. It's the same yeah. fucking principle. <clears throat> Some people like fat women, like black people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, what are you trying to say, man? <laughs> <laughs> that's why he said it that way. That was a joke. It's R, it's R slash S. Reggie, slash S. Reggie, Reggie get S. the fuck out of here. Hey, man, it's <laughs> Reggie, just go. No, man. <clears throat> Donald, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah, Get the fuck out. But I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I completely 
uh, I'll, I'll be quite honest with myself. The looks are like the most important thing. <laughs> I don't think you're attractive. There's, we're just not going to get anywhere. <laughs> And there's a lot of women that I'm attracted to, so it's not a problem. So that's how you start. Do you think they're attractive? It's like, oh, you pursue yeah. this person. And I'm definitely a face person. If you have a pretty face, I can pretty much look past a lot of it. Whoa, 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 hold up. But you're biased, so we can't, we can't use any of the information you're saying. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, right, that's right. This yeah. is for straight people. No, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, anyway. No, I take Stu, cut that off. He won't cut that off. I'll slice up this video. I'll slice up this video. It's <laughs> so even large segments of, of bleeping. Living like Larry. Living like Larry. Yeah. You know who's living like Larry? Who? Some kid when I came over on Thursday. I was coming by because I, I had to go pick up the fucking Happy Meal after I fucking wanted to come over and make these goddamn popsicles. Yeah. Like and I saw a kid who was at he was at uh, just a corner waiting to cross the street because he just got off from school and the high school's right there, you know. Yeah. And he was just fucking like listening to music, he was doing whatever. And he was like just throwing like kicks at the fucking button on the thing. He was doing a lot. He did like it twice, and I was like, damn, that kid's that kid's vibing over there. He's nice. he's, he's he's feeling himself. He's you know, all right. He doesn't hear all these fucking cars around and shit. He's just like bam, just throwing these fucking kicks. He's like a fuck. He had two. He had a backpack, and then under it. It was like one of those drawstring bags. So I assume he was doing some kind of sport. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. people, people that just go to school don't do that. Yeah, yeah. right, of course. The drawstring bag is very distinct. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, he was, he was, he was vibing. He was, he, was, he was doing, he was feeling himself. That's a good age to be in there. Yeah. Also, I used to see the security guard. He would also have his headphones in. He was like maybe in his late 30s. And he'd also be like, ooh. Well, I'm vibing, <laughs> swinging. I'm like, that's. I'm glad that he feels okay to do that. Well, well I mean, yeah, that looks like fun. I would never do it, but that looks like fun, dude. I do that sometimes in public when it slips out, like when I'm on, on walking or on a run, or like I'm just walking by myself somewhere. Or like, sometimes I go out by myself because, like, some days, like I don't really want to ask anyone hanging out because I understand most of my friends are tired of me. I'm like, go out by myself. Why not? Because I feel like it. I don't do it. But there's some things I do sometimes. I'm just walking, and I'm like. Every it's my probably my ADHD at fucking this point, you know. It's like I'm just thinking about everything else and not letting anything like what happens around me. Sometimes, like I'll be honest, like I bump I bump into people sometimes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, too hard. Just like, oh, I'm just thinking of stuff, you know. Oh, yeah, just going, like, just and then I'll just, oh. yeah, and then I, I bump in and stuff because I'm like really antisocial. I don't go out that much, you know. Yeah, and yeah. like. uh yeah, there's situations like that at a time where like oh, I'm walking like this song from this album comes in my head and it's like oh I really like the song. It's like thinking about it in my head about everything and then someone looks at me it's like <laughs> you know just like well <laughs> I think I think I'm just uh, uh, weird. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Whenever I'm at work and people are walking, around, I try to just like not look at them. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'll go, I'll go, I'll try to say good morning, but you know, so sometimes they don't say anything back. You know, it's probably because they weren't paying attention either. But I hate you know. that shit. I never say good morning to anybody to avoid possibly not being heard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> worst yeah, yeah. of all, being heard but saying it a second time and then them being like, "No, I heard you." <laughs> and it's like, okay. Well, you should die. That is never well, you should die. Well, I've never had that happen to me before. I'm no fucking asshole. It's like, no, I heard you. I, 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 yeah. What the? Fuck? I think I see that in movies, shit. but not in fucking. Yeah, maybe, maybe to make it was not cool and chill. I think it's my asshole. Might have just been a girl. Who, like, oh. had a question, like, like, oh, this piece of shit. He's saying, oh, yeah, man, yeah. Maybe she was just like, no, just stay away from me as much as possible. Yeah, just creep all over. It could have been that. It could have been that. Well, yeah, fit with a face like that, shit, I'd be freaked out too. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. I can't say shit. I'm ugly as fuck. It's true. Oh wow. <laughs> hey, Nick, no, you're JK. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm the most handsomest one here, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm talking about. No, I'm joking. I'm talking out of my ass at that point. Oh, I'm looking at me. I'm a little, you know, a little chubby. I'm the most smooth faced here. Yeah. Yeah, my beard came well, back. You shaved um, pretty recently, probably. Yeah, you no, it's this morning. Dude, yeah. you got good five o'clock shout outs. Damn, this morning? Yeah, yeah from here. Yeah, from yeah. good. Yeah. I think I know what I'm going to do with my facial hair now. I'm going to let my beard grow out for like two months or a month or two. And then mm-hmm. after that, I'm just going to shave it all off. I think I just want to. That's what I kind of do. It's when you get a little yeah. bit and it gets too hot or annoying. It's like I, I, my mustache. Yeah, especially when it gets annoying. Because for a certain while, you can trim it up how I feel. You can trim it up on the sides and how I do. I'm not going to sharpen it up anymore. I'm just going to be a fucker. Let's see how fat I can make this neck beard. I'm like, all right. That's crazy. So I just, I like, that, all right. I'm get, going to. Get, get the douchebag pencil thin. Just Ew, throw it no, dude. Just I just sharpen in that one episode of Family Guy. I'll do that. That looks like a very douchey boob. I fucking hate that. And then the pencil thin mustache. Stash no, why would I, I don't uh, have a, I don't have a pronounced chin. I don't I I can't pull off that look. You well, know, you I think really I think real. this this just suits my face in general. It covers up a little bit of the fat I have, so I'm like, that's fine. Yeah, I don't think I can even grow that much hair around my chin. 
I mean, you can go have somewhere else, though, huh? Nutsack, yeah. Nutsack, yeah. Nutsack, yeah. Nutsack, yeah. Oh, you just bag, sure, do the juice bag strap on your ass, just around down the sides of it, and meet down at the back of the screw at the bottom. <laughs> wait, 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 do it, do it, wait, wait, do it like a chin strap so you can... Yeah, it's like oh, down, wow. so it's like, here's a stack of it's just down the sides, and it's yeah. at the bottom. And, you have to get to manicure for a long time. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my cock uh, I'm gonna get my cock side braids. <laughs> yeah, you just ride out the side. No, achieve <laughs> everything except just like the you know, the girls have like the landing strip where sometimes they do like a little heart. Yeah, like, do, you yeah. Think, do you think guys gonna look a stop? That'd be funny. Yeah, well, so yeah that's what I'm thinking in my mind. Now I'm gonna do a fucking uh, favorite shaver down there on my Johns uh, and shit. You just, know? just 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 shave everything except just the top right here. I love the shaft. I went to the Hitler stash. Oh my god. <laughs> Do it so that you have to go upside down so the nose, the, the dick is like the nose. <laughs> Your balls are the eyes. Put the Dude, that would, be, on them. that would be <laughs> fucking yeah. awful. You're oh, 69 yeah. and it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's, whoa, what's, what's going this? on right here? I can't believe in this fucking 9 9 fucking swastika shit over here. Whoa, whoa. That was whoa. an image I just put in my head. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if anyone's ever got a swastika tattoo near or on or around their asshole. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Do you guys think about, uh, like the the or the army generals and stuff like when Hitler was doing his thing and stuff. Do you think like legit, if I were to join them, yes. My, oh Jesus. <laughs> no, 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 not join them. But do you ever think at some point, you know, of course they're just listening to obviously that their leader Hitler. But do you ever think at some point someone were just like you know, I think what we're doing is kind of fucked up, you know? Oh, yeah. Probably, well, I would assume. But it's like this current situation, too. Like, with Russia and, like, Ukraine and shit. Still, still, I know that shit's still going on. Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Just, some of the people are just there, obviously. I think I brought it up before, too, but I'm going to talk about it since it just came into my head. You know, some are like, you know, we, sh- we shouldn't be doing this, but they, had to, they have to listen, you know? There's probably also some sort of disinformation spread amongst them. It's not being like, oh, these people are war criminals. or just saying yeah, that propaganda, stupid bullshit. So just, yeah, it's, yeah. Because a, a lot of the Russians in fucking Ukraine are there. Like, oh, we thought we were doing some fucking military drill, and we didn't fucking know what we were doing. But who knows how true that? Oh is. god! What know. if? What if this is literally what uh, the Holocaust looked like at the beginning? But we're all we're all just like, oh yeah, that's bad. But the UN <laughs> isn't gonna do anything. We're all like, hey, we can't touch it. All right, it could be really bad if we get in there. What if this is exactly what it was like? Well, maybe to a certain extent of what was going on, you know. But back then, you know, things were really dramatic because there's a lot of you know disease and shit even then a lot like how things are now with the pandemic but like i think what we're experiencing is how it was experienced back then but in a modern way obviously since everything is yeah. different especially you know yeah i would imagine you know because back then you know you know re- you know religion was like almost an, an, an everyday activity you know school and stuff still but like uh, you know, so the, I don't know. And my, I'm just saying that they probably maybe made things uh, very extreme to the point uh, where it did get bad. But how it is now, because you know, back you know, like uh, I know I'm, I don't know what I'm trying to say specifically. There, there weren't I'm as like, many social justice warriors and fucking libs back in the '40s as there are now. Basically, so that so if, if, if I guess shit so, were yeah. to break bad, I think we, we'd be like, all right, well, we gotta fucking do something at this point because you know, we also have World War Two and Nazis in context now. It's like, oh, do you want that to fucking happen again? If, I like, see, I see. Russia does, like, yeah. Ukraine, it's like, well, we popped Zelensky, fuck them, now we got our fucking, now we got our part of Russia back, and it's like, well, now, yeah, well, then, then, then shit would probably happen. So yeah. there'd be more activism and shit against, uh, against, you know. You see, I hate how sometimes, like, I can sound like when you say stuff like that, and I, and I actually use, like, proper words, and sometimes I'm just stuttering like I did earlier, and then, uh, <laughs> so, like, I didn't think, I didn't think the idea thoroughly, you know, it sound like a that's just how it be sometimes. Yeah, I guess. At, at least you're not as bad with stuttering as I am. I'll fucking no, I I'll stutter. I fucking if, if I'm if I'm really not on it, I could probably do a stutter for like five, seven seconds straight, and then just finally get it. You know, yeah, if I'm just really not paying attention to it, it could just go on. For me, that the, the, the problem I have is sometimes I'll like the second word in the sentence is when I'll fill in first and then I'll be like, what? No, 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 I'll have to go back <laughs> and wait. The so second like, word is the first word you yeah. put? Or like, I'll switch around a word that's supposed to come further down the, lo- uh, down the chain first. You'll be like, yeah, the Nazis were great. It's like, no, yeah, like, the, the Nazis, Nazis were, weren't that great. We're a great evil. Damn yeah, it. Yeah, we're a great evil. I'm going to the store. I mean, I'm going to the store. <laughs> the Nazis were evil and it's great. I mean, uh... <laughs> Nazis were evil and it's great. <laughs> This is truly anarchist. It's like, yeah, fuck everything. Hitler everything. was right. You know what? That's not an accident. Just, no. <laughs> you Hitler, know how right he was. Hitler was right? Question mark. Hitler was right? It's a question. <laughs> Hitler was right? Question mark! Exclamation point. Hitler was right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, it's a major revelation. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh. I think in high school, my friend tried to go on some ridiculous uh, debate, or not a ridiculous story, about how possibly Jews actually came from out. Like, I, don't, I shouldn't even say this, because that's so racist. <laughs> Whoa, so at least yeah, he knows the, the thread line. Pro- is going on. Oh, no. The, we're going to cut that, right? I don't think we should dive into yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. From oh, but this on. again, this is coming from the guy who believes in eldritch beings. So yeah. I'm like, <laughs> they are from outer space. We're not space. Yeah. Yeah. Jews are here, so we're not going to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck. I didn't say they're extraterrestrials. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah those those you. Fucking it's, it's like a mass effect, you know. It, it, it gets to a point where it's like I'm not, I'm not Asian, I'm not European. It's like no, I'm from fucking Earth. It's like these are these are Turians. These are fucking. Whatever the fuck, it, it's like, you know, that's I hurt. can't, I can't wait. That's my favorite thing in science fiction. Do legit. My favorite thing in science fiction is when they're talking about humans as yeah. one. The human federation. Thing. Yeah. I can't wait till we reach a point where we're just the one thing. We're all humans. Yeah. We're all we, we Oh, but that, you're, you're thinking of like. That, huh? that is when the aliens will come. Because it's like, all right, fuck oil. Yeah. <laughs> we have intergalactic beings to deal with now. Oh, I thought they could be like, oh. It's not racist no more. Yeah. But it would be pretty cool if they did, like, it come integrate into our society some, and they were cool. Yeah. I think true. about it. It's like if they're really lame, like, yeah, no holidays. <laughs> and we think a work hour, a work day should be 12 hours. But here's the thing. But, here's what would happen if that situation did happen. The aliens would come. The government would do their best to hide it from everyone. They would classify them as a subspecies and everything. Probably start being racist towards them, like everything else that's different yeah. when one white man look at fucking shit, you know. And for a while, it'd be bad. But then eventually, we'd learn to live with them and be like, "Hey, what's up, my fucking why slum boy?" You, huh? If they came here, they, we were just treating like shit. Why wouldn't they be? Why wouldn't they just be like, "Yeah, fuck this place." Yeah. Well, yeah. we're gonna go find another planet to build today. Fuck you, guys are assholes. Well, that's just a scenario, I guess. Oh, so you yeah. can put it up. Well, because what if they're weak? You know, they don't fucking know. But they, got, they, they were, wouldn't they be obviously at this point. Here. Yeah. Well, 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 then how how would a scenario work? They only know what we tell them. So their context of what humanity is up to a certain point is just what the government lets them know. They're just like babies. We just like start pranking them. It's like, oh, this is chocolate. And it's just dog shit. And it's just it's dog shit. shit. <laughs> just like a reverse plot of with Mars attacks. Yeah, it's like, look, where are these earrings and mousetraps? Ah! You just put them in Home Alone style scenario. It's like, oh yeah, go with the house. That, guy, that guy's going to use the cane. And they go on the fucking paint bucket. And look, man. Just, I'm just, just start fucking with these aliens. I'm just saying, if, uh, if that day ever happens, I won't be live. But like, I hope. I don't believe in rebirth, but if it, it were for real, I hope I get my, rebirth as an alien. No, I hope mm-hmm. that who, uh, when I get reborn as someone else, I get some alien poo. And that's all I care about. Oh, I see. I mean, it's okay. You can just say I want alien. Yeah, you, you can go, get, you get reborn later in the in the. In the in but the I don't believe in I don't believe in reborn because I don't know what will happen. You know? Yeah, yeah. Right, that's you want. You want to be reborn later when aliens have colonized us and we've integrated with them. If rebirth, if re, if rebirth is real. Yeah. Yes. But what if what if alien pussy is like putting your your dick in a garbage disposal? Yeah, what, if, what if it's like ducks? Yeah. What if it's just really terrible? Like it just destroys well, we, the penis. You got to learn somehow, right? Yeah. yeah someone's so, got to try. Someone's got to do it. Some, you know, some creep will be like. Shh. No, and once we find out that that's what happens, several creeps would be like, I'm next. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, where's the line? I want the alien poon. <laughs> yeah. I want, I, want, I want to get wet from my blood. So, There'll uh, be some freak who's into it. Some people are really into this thing called boar, and I really <laughs> want to understand. What's that? Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> boar is, 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 I think it's just depictions. I think it's just depictions of people eating another one another yeah it's not in a sexual, sexual context it's, yeah it's just the thought of just being consumed yeah what and then, and then, they, then that goes along with like the pregnancy and the inflation and all that yeah. type of shit interesting stuff but it's like um is this just a flight of fantasy or does boar have like a, a physical component well because like nibble on each other here's here, here's how i think about it because uh-huh. i've i've like many retarded things and things that mean nothing to anyone or anything, or it should be nothing. I think about this a lot. Not okay. a lot, but just, yeah. so here's what I think about it. Right? He thinks about it a lot. That's so here's like this. You, so here, here's, babe, you like a woman. Uh-huh. You want to touch that woman. I do. Yes, you want to, you, you could, you put, you put your hand on that woman. Then, but, the, but, but here's the thing, it's all consensual. All right, okay, it's all consensual. Yeah, you put your hand on the woman, right? Yeah. Hand on the woman's great. Yeah. Why does that have to be consensual? Oh. That's a whole of the can of You put both yeah. hands on the woman. All right, we're getting into it. All right, you're kissing the woman. All right, cool. Then you're fucking her. You're straight fucking her. Yeah. All right, great. What if you could be more intimate with that? I see what you're kind of saying. Yeah, and it's. I think war is just the utmost form of intimacy. Where it's just like I'm just so. I just. I. You're just so. I don't even know how to describe it. You're so attracted to just the just, just being in, in as 
as <laughs> this is the starting as part of integrated. Job, as integrated as in, intimate and inside in quotation marks as possible you're just like fuck it just let me be just eat me is this the, the, the perspective of the male or the female it probably would well, both ways, well, right? Different yeah. circumstances. But then that's all where it comes into inflation because that's how, like, growing the stomach growing bigger and fucking... Yeah, like, really put you inside of me. Yeah. And then my stomach's going to be inflated because you're like a little baby again. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a is, whole fucking... Yeah. It's a whole... It's a whole fucking thing. I didn't really understand what... Like, because my, uh, my cousin's really into boy. <laughs> Why? Is, it, is this a meme to her? <laughs> or is she being serious? And are people serious about it? And then I, I go on the internet and I meet all these women in chat groups and they're kind of serious about it. But it's like, are you memeing is this a I meme? Can't, I can't. Mm, are I can't. all women memeing? Why is it just yeah. women? Why is it mostly women? Why do I see no slash s? Yeah. Why do I? What is hmm. slash s? It's <laughs> on so so Reddit when you when you when you make a sarcastic comment because sarcasm can't be displayed through text. You put slash s. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so it's like fucking Nazis were right. We should fucking yeah, all the Jews eat babies slash s. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. This is, it's just this is a this is a real question I had in mind because I really didn't know what this was for, who this is for. It's for fucking freaks and weirdos and weird sex burgers. Yeah, honestly, when you guys are describing uh, war, I was just uh, at one point I, there was almost a second of me. I'm like, oh, I can see how people are like that. And then when Stu said that weird fucking shit about you being like inside your stomach again, like a baby, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a yeah, it's that's like furries. It's a whole other subset. Like some furries don't fuck, but a lot of them do. And you know, Jesse's yeah. a uh, well, he is, but only a few people know that. Jesse, I'm sorry for writing you out, but if you ever hear this, I still love you. Jesse the Body Ventura, that's what we're talking about. Je- yeah, Jesse Ventura is a free. He cosplays as an eagle. Yeah, yeah, bald eagle. <laughs> America! Also, also uh, uh, Violent J and the other guy from Insane Clown Posse. No. One, one of them, the daughter, she's a furry, and then he was like, yeah, fuck yeah. And he's, uh, okay, cool, cool. The fucking, the insane clown posse, yeah, the fucking juggalos, uh, apparently they're like the most like inclusive and like friendly group of people. Like if you go to like a juggalo concert, they're fucking doing it out, but they're fucking, they're, they're, they're super chill. Like kids go there, they're yeah. fucking families. It's, it's, they're, they're inclusive, but they go hard. Yeah. yeah. It's a really hard thing to follow. So it's things. a weird, it's a weird community, but apparently yeah. it's super great. Really? Yeah. Oh, maybe I should go to one. Sometime. Like someone's like Maja will get hurt. It's like, oh, come on, get up. We gotta help let's you out. Go get you some, okay? Let's go get some raspberry fago. And yeah, let's, let's go get some fago. ICP concert. Oh yeah. The hottest girl that I knew was at ICP. So that's well, why I'm like, they they must well, be. Yeah. They must. They must. They must something. stand for something. Yeah. Incredibly beautiful women. No. <laughs> it's crazy how many hot chicks I see at the airport. Just, you know, especially oh, Palm Springs, it's party city. It's just sorry. like, you know. Are you picking up chicks at the airport now? No. That's the worst part. Just looking. Just yeah. looking in the cry. Yeah. But I'm also working, so I'm also downstairs in the warehouse, so I also don't see them a lot. But I do see my hot managers. I would hate it if I have to see a lot of hot women just passing by all the time. I'm just lying. I'm like, yeah, there's no, there's no one. You know? I think it would dull my senses to hot women. <laughs> I think it kind of is. Yeah. Oh, well. Women. Me and Marjorie were talking about this. We went to a bar. And we were, I was just like, yeah, man, I just, I, just, I just don't fucking care about getting pussy because like, I don't have time for that shit. Yeah. I'm fucking working five days a week and from fucking 6 a.m. to 2. It's like, I, you know, I just want to fucking drink and just fucking get high and play video games and go to sleep at 8 p.m. to get up and do it again. Saturday, I'm here. Uh, what do I got time for? Sunday? Fuck you, ho. That's a good, that's a good, when you're a guy and you finally reach that point, things change. Yeah, exactly. And you're no longer trying to get pussy every hour of the day and you're just like, hey, look, I'm going to go to work and then I'm going to wake up and repeat. If pussy comes my way, cool. If it doesn't, I don't give a shit because I gotta go to work. Wow. Wise FedEx man once told me. Uh-huh. <laughs> what was his You're, name? It's, I don't. I don't know. Roger. <laughs> oh, that's right. You used to work with FedEx. No, I don't. But this is FedEx people I see from at the airport. He goes, oh. "Let me try to get straight." All right. He's, he said, "Um, you'll uh, you'll uh, you'll always lose money chasing women, but you'll never lose women chasing money." Yes. They respect that shit. <laughs> yeah. I tell them I'm busy. They're like, oh, <laughs> I understand. Dude, Dude, you got priorities. priorities. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. How can I get in on that? How can I get in on that? Well, that's actually a very interesting perspective. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't think of it like that for a minute. Because honestly, I'm still kind of chasing someone. I'm just like, hey, hey cover me, baby. Yeah. I'm I don't even spend money on them. But... <laughs> you, know, you pay for dinner. And that's enough. That's money you're spending. It's a whole ass meal. I haven't gone out with anyone, though. Exactly. Yeah. So you're focused on the grind. Mm-hmm. That is true. A uh, grind, but it. sometimes I do go on profiles and go, shit, I'm at this bitch. She, will, she follows me back. I don't have any, don't have any of that shit. No. You, you do that on like, Instagram? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty aggressive move. Okay. I don't have Instagram, I don't have Twitter. I don't have any of that shit. My yeah. only advice is marijuana yeah. and alcohol. I got off dating apps, so I'm kind of tired yeah, of that, that shit. Yeah. Fuck that. 
I don't really do on one. I don't think I want to. It's a lot of bots. I, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of yeah. stupid shit. Fuck it. Well, I mean, I think this is a perfect segue into because I actually did write down some topics that I do okay. want to talk about. <sighs> that was a good warm up to get into everything. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so the one thing I want to. Uh, I did want to talk about it. It's, it's a little serious for this. But uh, I don't know if you guys know uh, Taylor Hawkins from the drummer from Foo Fighters. Did he, oh, he die? Didn't. He did pass away. Yeah. yeah. He had uh, an, an overdose, I believe. He had a lot of stuff like marijuana, alcohol, and like some other pills and other stuff in him. He was, was, uh, he that, was only yeah. like 54, I believe. Uh-huh. He passed away pretty. And it's uh, really sad to me, at least, because I'm a big, I really love Foo Fighters. Yeah. You know, I am from, you know, uh, I guess believer that if you know Kurt Cobain never shot himself, we never would have had Foo Fighters. You know, because Nirvana, you know, great band, obviously, a little stuff, but you know, uh, Foo Fighters. You know, it's music that uh, I really like connected with them by as well. Their uh, second album uh, and their six and seven, those three are like my my all time favorite fucking Foo Fighters album. Mm-hmm. So when I heard about this, like I, I was hurt a little bit. I'm like, wow. <sighs> I wish it didn't happen, like, legit, honestly, because it just kind of sucks. And I feel bad for Dave Grohl a little, because, like, That's him and Taylor second. Hawkins are, like, you know. Yeah, it's the second person he knows, too, that died. Yeah. Well, I guess more, but. Yeah, Kerr and then Hawkins, you know. Yeah. Both kind of suicide, a little bit, you know. He overdosed, you know. He probably didn't plan on doing it, but he's just, like, going through some hard shit, and he was like, fuck it. This is all bullshit. So, I don't, I don't know a lot about them or, or what he was going through, but I, uh, I think uh, I listened to... Uh, podcast or talk about him. Like, but yeah, he was like doing like a lot of drugs and he had something going on. So I wanted to look into that more. Yeah, I have a little bit right here. I'll pull up the article as well, but I wrote a little bit because I, in here I said I bookmarked the article. So I'm going to go to the article. But yeah, Terry Harkin's heart weighed double that of man his age Jesus. when he died. Foo Fighters drummer suffered cardiovascular collapse in Columbia hotel room after uh, binging on cocktails of drugs, including heroin, marijuana, opioids, and Investigators say, what "Yeah, kind of fucking heroin, marijuana, and opioids." What kind of HGH was he taking? Was Let me get to, to make his heart twice as big. It's just the That's drugs, I guess. Because your heart enlarges from certain types of drugs. I yeah, like you can grow from it. It's like it enlarges everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, but what do what? Yeah, what? Yeah, let me pull up the article. Oh, it slow you down. Yeah. That's just an interesting thing. Yes, yeah, so that was the main title that I wrote from the article. I put it down oh, here. Oh. This is by, I'm going to give credit to these people who are, you know, by Jared Cousins and Nick Enich and Katie uh, Feehan and James Phillips for uh, Malinine. I'm sorry if I mispronounced any of your names, but. Fuck all. Foo Fighters drummer Terry Hawkins was found dead in his hotel room in Bogota, Colombia on Friday. And this is, uh, when this article came out, it was March 27th. So this is about maybe. Maybe two, three weeks ago when they find this stuff out. Uh, forensics ex- fresh forensic experts say autopsy revealed his heart weighed at least 600 grams, double the average size. It, that's, a, you know, investigators conclude Hawkins suffered cardiovascular collapse after binging on cocktail drugs. Foo Fighters just completed host of tour dates in South America and were due to appear at the Grammys in April. They were going to, oh. they were going to play. So this is, I'm just like, oh, shit. So the band said it was devastated by the ultimate ulti- uh, ultimate loss and asked for privacy of his family to be respected. Foo Fighters are on tour in South America and the band has played in San Isdrio, Argentina last Sunday before when the, uh, this news happened. It's crazy as fucking shit. Uh, yep. It's crazy how fucking artists get news get so like to a point where they're well, it's a lot of it's pressure. Just, yeah, exactly. There's just so much shit going on, and it's just because you know if you do that type of shit. Because it's the scariest thing, like as a as a musician, as an artist. Like when you make one album that's really popular, you have you have high expectations exactly. at that point to keep you know people having keep more people coming. So I can see the stress when it comes to that shit. Yeah, I think popular yeah. can relate to like creating a thing that kind of popped off a little bit, and then that that shit in your pants feeling of like, oh, I have to make a next thing, and if it's not as good as the last thing. That people aren't going to care about what I do anymore. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's it's something I think we all deal with in small ways on a, on a smaller and bigger scales. You know, mm-hmm. but no, that's real though. I mean, a lot of people probably don't think about that. The pressure. No, it's and then it gets to a point where you're just like, fuck it, I'm just not going to do anything. And you just you're in your fucking head about it, and you just don't do anything about it. You just wallow and think about it. Like, I should be fucking doing this, but it's three months later, and you still haven't done anything. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, I yeah, those were some dark times for me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it just leaves a little bit of a like taste in my mouth. I'm like, man, you know, it's hard making shit. It is. 
And it, because it, it, a lot of artists do that, you know, and I, I think I've talked to us before, you know, like Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, you know, all of them doing everything that they were doing, everything. Fucking, it could have made like a lot more stuff that they like, you know, weren't drug addicts, but like, hey, you gotta deal with the pressure somehow. But same thing goes with any form of like fame, you know, porn stars back in the day, no Viagra and shit, you know, fucking coked out on everything because you gotta do it, you know, you gotta fucking have it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck that cock. It's the. Do line off it. Like uh, Ava that? Adams, I know. Uh, I'm talking about porn. So I don't know if you guys know porn in general, but like, this is an artist. She killed herself because uh, this was a while back, though, maybe oh, like okay. a few years, about how uh, the porn industry there was a big strain on her too and everything. Her name was Ava Adams. She was a fucking hot ass milf. If you guys ever, yeah, it's just you know, shit. that's kind of weird because I think I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> and the idea that she's been uh, not alive for a while. No, uh, she's been dead for a few years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wow. I think I know who that is, and I'm gonna have to just check because. That's, that's, she's beautiful, man. Like that's a beautiful. weird one for me. <laughs> but like, that's what I think it is. I actually, I'm, I have lots of photos of this girl. Like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, continue, continue. No, but like it, any sort of thing when it comes to like being, you know, artist. I've heard. I, I was listening to Joe Rogan the other day. He has this episode out with like Greg Fitzsimmons. And like they were talking about like old movies and stuff about how women in movie theater, uh, in the movie industry, you know, uh, complaining now and back then as well. Can't remember the name of this artist. I think her name was like Monroe or, or some something with an M. But like, uh, she did, like back then, especially in the fifties and stuff, and blow hand the way you would like gate into the industry. If you're a woman, you'd sleep with the producer, director. You would just sleep with them. He's like, I can get you a fucking role, definitely. You know. And this lady. Posted in the article in 1945, I can't remember the uh, what her exact name was. Talking about the industry, how she was a how how a woman couldn't get anywhere in this business only if they sleep with someone, and that means I have to throw away my husband and everything else that she had at the time too. You know, it's just really fucked up when it comes to like sexist things that you see yeah. in the past and everything. It was like my fucking god, she was a good actress too, you know, mm-hmm. but like she wouldn't get too many big roles because she just didn't want to sleep with this guy. I can't remember his name. It was like uh, Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, right, right. Was it? No, I mean, I, that's not. That's a Hollywood guy. <laughs> no, but I think Weinstein was I know, I mentioned. Probably, probably. probably, I'll, probably I'll yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, she's not who I thought she was. Oh, yeah. I thought I saw, I saw a photo. Definitely beautiful woman. Oh, yeah, definitely. Very definitely unfortunate that uh, you know she what? had a rough go with the, the industry. I know. Kind of yeah. sucks though, because like, man. She gives good head. <laughs> I haven't experienced it, but I'm just like, oh. Yeah. Definitely reserve many jokes that just appear to my head. Yep. Haha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Making a salt circle and trying to get some ghost head. <laughs> yeah, man. I wanted to say Dan Aykroyd got some ghost head in Ghostbusters. Uh, and they look pretty great. That's why he keeps making those ghost skull vodka things. Yeah, just to get in touch with the aliens and give him some alien head. Yeah. Get ghost uh-huh. head. Now he needs more extraterrestrial head. Have you ever seen a Xenomorph's head, dude? Perfect shape. Yeah, man, it's right. If your arm's big enough, it'll fit perfectly like a sleeve. The, the aliens from the movie Aliens. Yeah. And oh, then the oh, chest oh, oh. and small enough comes out, so you get that in first. It's like, oh, yeah, you even even further. That's what takes it in. Exactly. It kind of pulls it exactly yeah. out. That's hot. We can yeah. see that. It gets the most. It gets We're the gonna, most secure. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the flashlight company and get some ideas going. Yeah, I told Caesar about auto blows yesterday, and he was like, "What? I didn't know these existed." Auto blows? Yeah. Oh, dude, I got some pipes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. All right. I don't know. You ever heard of an auto blow? Yeah, I think it's. I, I can imagine what it is. Yes. <laughs> it you. It automatically blows you. And Nick was telling me like they make some like yeah, based make, off the models of uh, yeah, they sort of pussies and mouths yeah, and shit. Off their but they're like big, aren't they? Uh, it's like it's like it's, it's like holding a pan. It's, it's, it's probably car. like like uh, not not as big as this spot. Well, yeah, probably probably like as long as this. Yeah, it's like holding next to your kids. Like maybe like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not that big, but yeah, it's like. A, yeah. You know what? I, I would. It's got vibration. I wouldn't and suction action and loosening tightening. That's, I should try it. <laughs> I'll try, I mean, I don't know if I would buy it, but what I would buy, I don't know if you guys seen it. It's like these eggs. You guys have seen. I think I showed Nick one time before. I it's seen like, the podcast. Before, it's yeah. these. Uh, it's like a. It's a like a masturbating tour for guys. Like you know? a tanga, right? Yeah, a tanga. Yeah, yeah. And well, I, 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 I want one of them so bad because like I'm like I would use the fucking. But you gotta clean it. You gotta wash your cum. You the so you already fucking touch your cum and you're jacking off. So why the fuck do it's matter? Different. It's different because I can just come in a fucking. The yeah. toilet paper just throw it. I don't have to clean out a plastic thing full of my cum. Nah, that's really? lube, bro. When you get cum on your fucking hand, that's lube. Let me tell you, as somebody who has owned two different toys of, of that nature, yeah, it is kind of annoying to 
to try to get all the gist the very bottom of the toy out. Just turn it inside out. You That's do. why silicone looks like. the silicone starts to break down. <laughs> Not these <laughs> eggs, though. Not these yeah. eggs. Yeah. It's a better formula? Yeah, it's a better formula. <laughs> okay. That's yeah, what I'm telling you. It's, 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 it's a better silicone Because alloy. you get six of different sizes. I'm like, so Nick, for my birthday, buy me one. I told him this. Ah! Man. Man. Let me go on to something else to talk about. The 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 the, the, voob, uh, the, voob, the vibe, the mood, everything was just a little ruined. Ru- uh, I get it. yeah, it was, it was ruined. <laughs> it was ruined. But let me talk about movie theaters. I actually went to go see uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero a couple weeks ago. I don't nice. know if you guys know what Jujutsu Kaisen is, but it's a really good anime. Okay. It's a modern anime. It's a good movie. Uh, it's just just basically about the before everything leading up to where the anime and and, st- and manga started. Mm-hmm. So it's volume zero actually for that as well. So, yeah. and then uh, yeah, it's really good. And the reason why I bring up this, fucking people in movie theaters. Mm-hmm. There's something that had happened during this movie. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't during the movie. Thank God. But it was during the previews of other movies and shit. You know. So these fucking kids and shit. After fucking uh, some dumb shit would happen in the in the in the movie trailer, like something would happen, so and some they would make like smart remarks after fucking everything. These oh, guys, okay, okay. they were like maybe fourteen. They were making smart <laughs> remarks and shit, and afterwards they're like, "I'm gonna go see that one." I'm just like, you know, like out loud, like you could say your remarks definitely, like that's fine. But like yeah. to everybody in the fucking movie theater, I'm just like, these motherfuckers. Yeah, there's edgy kids who think they're funny when they're really not. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Because definitely, uh, in high school, I was that kid. Yeah. But I knew to localize it to the person next to me who wanted to hear it. Yeah. Sometimes both of them didn't care. Sometimes only one of them cared. But definitely just between me and this person, we're doing a little commentary track on this movie right now. Isn't that the weirdest shit that you'd see, like, like 14-year-olds and shit? Uh, we're doing the same things that you were fucking doing, and you look at that, you're like, man, I don't do that anymore. I'm just like, I can see why I would do that. But it- I'm just like... It makes me mad until I recognize, oh, I know what that is because I did that. And then I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> the world has to suffer sometimes. Yeah. And these kids are going to be the cause of it. That, that, that we can say with that. And another thing I had when I went to the McDonald's uh, a few days ago to get the Happy Meal. Caesar, I told you about this. I sent Caesar a text and I said, uh, Happy Meal acquired. That shit was wild. And you thought, oh, it took a long time in the drive through I said, no, I went inside. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the crazy thing. Yeah, yeah that was... <laughs> I'm glad you did that. The, the drive through was too long. It would have taken, like, three times as long to get a single Happy Meal. Fuck that. I'll go inside. So I go inside, and there's, 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 there's... there's it's just so long. And they have those new, like, podiums, you know, oh. where you can order the shit on your own at, with, with, with the computer interface, right? Yeah. So I see it's a counter up here. And there's two uh, women right here ordering. There's a bigger fat guy right there behind him. And behind them is the, uh, the there's two machines. Yeah. And there's one right here, one right here, and there's the back bar right here. And I don't want to step around it, whatever. So I'm just, I'm just like, I'll just wait here behind this until they go, and then I'll step in behind. Well, then the fucking two people in front, they were taking a while, but I understand because they were ordering a couple Happy Meals. Yeah. So yeah. then they do that, and they were changing it. Okay, this instead of this, and whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. So they finish up like three, four minutes. They move off to the side, and the fat guy behind him comes up, and he says out loud, it's so everyone can hear, he, oh he says, you just take your sweet time, don't you? He's like, I've seen you around before, you should do this all the time at all these other places. And these other two people were like, we, we're not even fucking from you, what wow. are you talking about? Wow. And he's just going, he's this fat gay guy going off, and he's like, that bag doesn't even look like a coach bag. He was like talking shit on wow. their accessories, <laughs> he was getting there, he was shit, and then he fucking went and got, and behind him there's another old lady that I didn't see, so I had to go behind her too, you know? Yeah. So it was fucking... It was wild. And they were just kind of just like shit talking a little bit. And then he left. And then kind of everyone left in the McDonald's was like, what the fuck just happened? Dude, dude angry gay people. That's an interesting one. At Jeez. McDonald's. <sighs> when they're that desperate. You see, that's America right there. Yeah, fucking. just encapsulated. But the thing is, because they're gay, they can take it to a level that most men can't. Yeah. <laughs> and they yeah. can they can ride that wave for as long as they want. And no one's going to stop them. See, even if they say a lie, you're going to slam them. Like, you're here all, you're, all these places all the time. You go slow. It's like, they're not fucking from here. What are you talking about? It's so crazy. You know what the counter is, but you'd be like, yeah, but you're still gay. You know? <laughs> exactly. Are you still have AIDS? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why are you still here? Don't you have AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jeez, see, this is why I don't go inside fast food places anymore. Like, when I want to go out to eat and, like, legit, like, if it's pizza, I'll just pick it up and take it. Exactly. You know? But, like, 
I would much rather now just go into a restaurant, sit down, and just relax, than have to like wait in line for that shit, you know, and just be like uh, having to deal with fucking dumb people and their bullshit like that. I'm just like, nah, fuck. The drive through was empty, I would have gone, but it was the fucking McDonald's at 3 p.m. Yeah, of course, so, of course, yeah. it was backed out into nearly the fucking parking lot. Yeah. yeah. Chicken nuggets are good, though. Yeah, I was going to get some, but then I thought, you know, it's all garbage food, so I just won't. I was going to get an egg well, muffin, though, uh-huh. but for some reason, the, 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 the brand that started Breakfast All Day, McDonald's, yes. no longer does Breakfast All Day, whereas everyone else does Breakfast All Day. You know what's crazy? McGriddle, bro. I won't. When, when, when well, too bad. It's fucking, it's, it's, it's 319. You can't get one. What's crazy is when McDonald's did Breakfast All Day, they were actually just a breakfast place at that point. Yeah, because who gives a fuck about your shit-ass burgers and all this, this fucking bullshit-ass filet of fish? True. I want pancakes. I want a fucking McMuffin. I want the hash browns. Nuggets. <laughs> yeah, but not only that, think about it this way. Between, like, I think it was like 10.30 to like a certain point in the, in the night, you can get a burger between those specific hours. But any other time at, around that, uh, or any time at all, you can get breakfast. So McDonald's just became a breakfast place. Well, because the breakfast is good. Yeah, you know? exactly. Everyone loves fucking breakfast. Yeah. I love breakfast. Yeah. The well, McDonald's breakfast, it's different too. Yeah, you know? It really does. Because it's it really makes... fatty and sugary and real bullshit and shitty. It gives me the shit first of all. Yeah, yeah you it's know, breakfast, no breakfast my stomach. compares. Shit. Well, let's go get McDonald's up now. Well, we gotta wait fucking 12 hours. Uh, oh, yeah. That's right. Bastards. It's true. So, do they, so, I guess like during the last hour that they serve burgers is when they have to start preparing the breakfast items because they can't just close for like an hour. Don't, do, do they serve the, the, the regular burgers and shit during the breakfast hour too? Is it only breakfast? No, shit? no, that's the thing. They don't. They'll stop serving you burgers at a certain point at night and then you have to wait until a certain point in the day to get burgers. Again. That's the logic. That's Why? what I keep saying. This is a breakfast place now. Period. Oh. That sometimes serves burgers. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I hop and Denny's are breakfast places. And they no, those are diners. diners. Yeah, yeah. It's very <laughs> shitty, shitty chain diners. Yeah. The shakes are good, though. Stop those Denny shakes. They're really good. The T-Bone really steak ain't that bad. I had it before Denny. It's all right. I don't, I don't ever steak my ride. You know, country fried yes, steak. That's I'll really good. Country fried good. steak. That's that, at shit. Denny's, that's really good. Always. Are we going to Denton? <laughs> Fuck you. Country fried steak. One time for my birthday, I went to Billy Reeves, Billy Reeves with my grandma. I got country fried steak and eggs. With hash browns inside of mac and cheese. It was so fucking good. Damn, that sounds I good. I ate all of it. It was a big ass fucking. It was a but I have french fries steak. here, so I'm chilling. All right. All right, Mr. Mr. Rich Rich over here with the fucking french fries. Oh, yeah. The fucking two bag, two bag, two dollar pound bag of potatoes at a cheap grocery store. Yeah, that's rich. All right. Yeah. I don't know Who's why I'm talking so quiet right now. <laughs> two pound. Wait, what? What's that? Two. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, this point. Math is hard. Yeah. I'm just, I don't do math. You know, I'm just... Math oh, ain't no good. I think... I don't know if someone's outside. They're listening in. It's the government. I'm listening to our private radio station. Yeah, a radio station. A private radio station. We're speaking out against the man, man. We can't keep us down anymore. We had to speak out. Yeah, fucking hell, man. Well, we were speaking out against people. Talk out color. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Everyone's awful. Oh, God. I don't want both. That's all I want. I hit the mic. That's gonna sound awful. Yeah, it really will. It'll be fine. It can. But, but uh-huh. it's, fine. it's fine. Don't worry about right. it. Anyway, Stu, what were you saying? Oh, no, I was just recapping. So, that, that was our last topic. People talking shit in movies. Oh, that's right. That's interrupting right. us. Well, I can keep going into uh, I, I can bring something up we talked about later while you fucking figure that out. I was talking to Caesar about uh, it's kind of, it's crazy how just like people. Like they see on TV, just like celebrities and shit. <coughs> They're just living. Yeah. They're just having like everyday lives and shit. <coughs> like I'm taking a shower. That's when I got out. It's like <coughs> fucking <coughs> Vladimir Putin just like takes a shower sometimes. He just gets down, watches his fat fucking shitty Russian body. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, buff. he's just doing. He'll he'll sit down and eat his shitty McDonald's from fucking Russia. You know. Yeah. His, his, his Kim his Kardashian McDonald's. goes and takes big fat shit sometimes. You know. And you're just trying to imagine celebrities as just regular people. Yeah, and they are. Yeah, yeah, but it's weird to imagine it though, you know? It's like, just imagine, put yourself in their place, so watch it through the five million dollar mansion, you know? Bringing the peanut butter and jelly on their fucking, their goddamn, what is it? Uh, I'm trying to imagine. Uh, their marble, marble, marble yeah. fucking countertops. I'm trying to imagine Joe Rogan just doing the like they do with me. <laughs> and be like, okay, bitch, I got all the documents right here. All right, we want. Just being really impressive. It's a good Joe Rogan impression. It's a good Joe Rogan impression. Was it? 
What are you fucking talking about? I need a fucking signature. I have it all right here. You tell me I need more? <laughs> Come on, bitch. I just love <laughs> when he calls people bitch. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, I love Joel. Come on, stop being silly. Stop being such a silly bitch. That's one of the bitch. podcasts I listen to like religiously every week. I listen to uh, Joe Rogan, Super Mega, Trash Taste, and Trash Taste After Dark. Those are like the four podcasts that I'm just like, those. that's just my jam. It's just those four fucking things. I have too many podcasts. I, I, I really too. fell off on, on Joe Rogan when he was on Spotify. Yeah. But I still go out of my way. That's how I express it. I go out of my way to listen to Joe Rogan now. I have to open up the Spotify app. I kind of like J- it though. J O E, because it's the only J-O. thing I use Spotify for. It's just Joe Rogan. Because wow. I already have YouTube Music. I don't pay for the subscription of Spotify. I just use the free version. I'm like, okay, this is Joe Rogan. That's all and I use it for. For podcasts, it's actually perfect to use the, the free version. But like, yeah, you pay for music. Cause it's annoying not be able to play the one song you want to listen to on Spotify. And it's great because I would like to do like three, four hour podcast at some point. Because Joe, I don't know, he does like eight, nine a day. Sometimes or eight nine so. a week. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. in, that sounds insane. That's insane. I, but even then, eight nine podcasts a week, yeah. and they're like two five hours. You know, I'm just like, oh. yeah, sure. but he just has fun. You know, that's great. He's also, you know, I think he's pretty good at interviewer and stuff. And he has like serious people on, like uh, serious figures. Uh, I guess yeah. <laughs> he's good at letting people talk and like probing them. Yeah, asking questions, asking right questions, you know. Mm-hmm. And if they start being rude and shit, he's like, no, well, calm down. You know, let's talk about this. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, fuck you. And punch good. him in the face. Oh, I, yeah. I don't think I've heard him have to like fight. We're not fight, but but uh, I don't think he's had an aggressive podcast guest in a while that I remember. The last one I remember was uh, I can't remember who it is, but it's that one guy who goes. He he'd go to political like rallies and shit, oh. and he was a uh, he would uh, he would record and ask like politicians like like the actual questions that people want to know about, and they would get like offended at him and try to like. Like, like almost assaults him sometimes. I can't remember what his name is. It's like it's something with an A, I uh-huh. think. Not a- Alec. No, Alex not- Jones. Yeah, Alex oh. Jones. Oh, yeah. Do you remember Alex Jones? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm uh, like, what the fuck was his name? Alex Jones. Mean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know, but like, yeah. that was because he was making. Uh, when I remember, wow, listening to it, he was making valid points about stuff, but like, like he, wouldn't in, call, uh, he wouldn't call. He wouldn't. Yeah, that was. But I, this is sometimes he wouldn't quote his shit, and then so Joe would catch him on it, and then he would actually be thumbed. And he's like, look it up, look it up, do the research, look it up. And it's like, no, you have the burden of proof. You have to. He printed out all these things, though. You know, he had like 50 things. No, he has the documents. No, yeah, he does have a lot of documents about like the Chinese making these weird, like. It's just he's not too organized sometimes, you know. I'm sure that is real, but it's like, it's crazy that he knows that and has that knowledge, but. I used to to watch his show, but here's how I would consume Alex Jones media. This is a way to do it that I think is the right way. The first hour and a half, he's actually got good uh, topics. He's making good points. He's talking about things that make sense and things that we should all be hearing about. You skip to about the midpoint. That's when you get interdimensional demons and and child sex rings. (laughs) He starts getting into his groove. That's his his groove. That's his groove. I'm not kidding you guys. I click on an episode, midpoint, start playing from there. And it's always just the crazy <laughs> shit. And I, and I like that he does, uh, I like that he be, he does do all this like crazy nonsense stuff because he, he could just be trying to like cover his ass in a way. He's just oh, a major pedophile. Yeah. yeah. He's just trying to oh, deflect, deflect, deflect. Oh, well, I'm saying like you, you, if you know too much true stuff and you start putting it out there, you got to put some fake stuff out there. So people can discredit you, oh, yeah. or to make yourself look silly, so that way no one really tries to stop. Oh, I see. That's a, that's, <laughs> that's an interesting a theory. Point. That's a theory. Yeah. You put the little hidden messages so let so people know what parts are real, what parts are bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Maybe it's possible. It's definitely possible. He's also a Christian, so he does believe in demons and stuff like that. Uh, you know, so he's a narcissist. <laughs> I don't know where exactly. You know, those demons. Yeah. It's all of Satan is demons. But he's he's an interesting character. So I mean, yeah. Joe Rogan is a pretty good podcast guest. He I gets slammed pretty hard about the whole ivermectin thing that people yeah. just don't want to let go. And his big nipples in his ice bath. I don't care about that. I don't care about the nipples. It's yeah. fine. He's a lot of people got big nipples. Who gives a shit? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's a buff ass guy. He'll kick your ass. Yeah, yeah. But he's got big nipples. His nipples might kick your ass. My nipples aren't that big. <laughs> My nipples are normal. Hey, leave him alone, man. I <laughs> <laughs> leave him alone, man. Don't bully Joe Rogan. It's all good. Yeah. I don't even, I don't even think he cares. No, he don't give a fuck. Have you seen that video? Someone edited of him interviewing a monkey? Uh, yes, I thought that was really funny. Or him interviewing himself. I've seen one where Tom, <laughs> I love the ones where he interviews himself. I've seen where Tom Segura is interviewing himself. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. good. Or Joey Diaz interviews himself. Jesus. That was just fucking great. Oh, I can't imagine <laughs> that Joey Diaz. Oh, fuck. Like, he fucking cocksucking shit. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. 
I can't believe overlapping Joey Diaz voices trying to fight for volume. <laughs> or you see the video of it? It's 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 like it's a it's a like it's like an eight by eight of Joe Rogan clips, and they're all different. And then they sync up with him saying, "It's interesting that," and they all keep going off their own. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but like, man, he's the, he his latest episode was eighteen hundred and three. I can't imagine that. I'm a I'm not that eighteen hundred three. What? Uh, Podcast, 18, oh, 1, oh, okay. 1803, you know, oh, okay. 1803. Yeah. He's got a shit ton of podcasts. Yeah. And when I started to get back into him, like, a couple months ago, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go back to where I remember before the last one I saw. Because I remember, like, when it was, like, around, like, 400-something, you know. I was conscious and aware of it at that point. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, and I just, not. Nah, nah. I mean, the first episode that I, I listened to him on was um, uh, with Stephen Greer, the guy who was going to, like, disclose the existence of aliens but hasn't in the last 10 years. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, yeah, that's crazy. He's been finishing up his thesis. I, I believed in it then because I was in high school. <laughs> I'm not in high school anymore. <laughs> and he still hasn't shown me the aliens. It's kind of upsetting. <laughs> Where the fuck are the aliens? I've been waiting all these years. He said it was going to be, like, next year. And then he said the next year after that. <laughs> Bullshit at this point. You know. Motherfucker, I'm going to kick his ass. Yeah, let's go find him right now and beat him up. Exactly. But he, he brought me to Joe Rogan, so he did something good for me. Yeah. Yeah, I want to think of. Yeah. It's always Let's... nice. Huh? Huh? Well, I was no. It's always nice getting introduced to new things from other things. It's yeah. It's like to broaden your horizons of entertainment and media. Yeah, celebrities in general are fucking always, uh, they're just interesting people. Like how, how you were talking about the point earlier about how they were, you know, we're all just humans, but like, on the side note, like some, you know, famous people. Like are like like actually really cool persons. Like if you just watch interviews about them, or it's just like, or on, even on podcasts and stuff, and they just like act like themselves for like two hours, and they just talk like they just have these great stories. You know, it yeah. just shows like the realism, like right there. Well, that's kind of like the, that's oh. like the huge departure. Sorry, that that's one of the huge departures I've noticed between celebrities that we kind of grew up uh, with and like new celebrities, where they're on podcasts, you can see them, you have a very personal connection with them. But I feel like it's only mostly comedians and stuff like that. It's not really like actors that are on podcasts. There are some like like, like Jason Bateman and another actor. They have David Spade got together. one too. Yeah. It's well, weird, it's... Mike Tyson has had like a lot of like celebrities and stuff on his podcast. Okay, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mike Tyson does a really good podcast too. I forgot uh, to mention up on the other ones. I don't listen to it a lot, but I need to get back into it more. Mike Tyson has a good podcast. He just gets fucking ridiculous to He just yeah. talks to these people and shit. It's the fucking craziest thing, man. Is it good? Because, I mean, I, sometimes I'm like, ah, celebrity podcast, is it just the celebrity name pairing this show that might suck? Or No, he's a, I think Mike Tyson, is a, he's not an idiot, you know? Yeah, I don't want to say he's dumb, but I don't know if he's a interviewing type, or if he can get good He's pretty good. People. He's just, maybe he's half, uh, past halfway through, and he's just really hot. He's like, oh, man. <laughs> and it's funny, but. Yeah, it's like Joey Diaz in his earlier yes. podcast, and him and Lee are just like, oh, fuck, and Lee's just like, oh, so yes. fun. Literally, like, pictured. Death. Literally, I pictured him. What's his podcast guy just like leaning forward and passing yeah. out? It's like a lean. Oh, uh, I watched just that. Put some that. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, man. I was getting mad at you. Like, it's like you're beating too much. Isn't that having a Snoop Dogg or someone? Or someone was trying to, like, I think someone was reviewing Drake's like, new album, and he was like, oh, yeah. He oh, was, yeah, and then he fell asleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back. All right. Me and Stu can just talk for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have a topic that I like to talk about. I want to wait for Nick to be here. Gotcha, gotcha. It's about celebrities and everything. So, yeah. A lot of, a lot of heavy celebrity talk. It's interesting, though, because I really feel like celebrities nowadays are just way different than, uh, like, let me think of a good private celebrity. Like, Sandra Bullock. I have no fucking idea what she's up to. Really? Yeah, but, you know, David Spade's got a podcast. I can listen to that. You probably know, like, That's down funny. to a minute what is going on in his life. The way you can with like certain comedians. Yeah, uh, but for some reason, for me, I can't really connect or relate to like celebrities as uh-huh. much as I can to a comedian. Yeah, that's one thing that I'm trying to like get my mind on. Like, what is the thing? Well, it's because like you know, comedy. You know, it's just that art form, like where it's just best portrayed. Uh, you know, low ceilings. You know, tight rooms, small. You know, small tables and everything. Like like jazz. You know, because mm-hmm. comedy and like jazz. You know, they're just strictly American, and it's. Just those things in America, you know, it's, uh, it's just, ah, I fucking had a word. And then in my, my mind, I'm just like, let's rock this. But yeah, it, comedy is like, stand, it, it, comedy, stand-up comedy is like jazz, you know? It's best when it's just in 
low ceilings up and close because it's more personal that way when you're when you see someone who's doing something you know you're up that up close to them and you can relate to them that much almost mm-hmm. like like your friend kind of a little bit so yeah, yeah it's yeah. just it like yeah like jazz sets the mood and comedy comedians set the mood definitely when it comes to us wanting to understand about ourselves a little more through the, uh, some experiences that they have had that we can relate to because they're just a person you're just up close to them like that you know especially mm-hmm. back then now maybe not so much it's come comedians perform on bigger stages but there's still times where it's smaller stages and you're up close with them even bigger like uh, like even bigger comics right now like david tell i saw a clip one time on youtube a couple weeks back when it was david tell performing at, i can't remember where but it was at a theater small room you know only like maybe a hundred people in there but like you know yeah. it's david tell they're like oh my god you know he's just that up close and personal with them and it's just you know, it feels like he's talking to you kind of since he's that close, yeah. you know? If it's 100 people, it would definitely be, like, super personal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Those damn gardeners. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but I had, I had a thought, and I just kind of lost it. Um, We're at but that so, point, so, huh? so, No, uh, so that's what it was. Also, comedians now, they, they, a lot of them are really taking the social media angle and doing a lot of podcasting. Like, all my favorite comedians podcast. Uh, like, like Whitney Cummings got her own podcast. Oh, you're wait, uh, you love Whitney Cummings? Like she's amazing, yeah. Yeah, Whitney Cummings. She's, she's fucking amazing. Yeah. Best female personality, I think. Next to Christine Pajitsky, you know who that Christine is. Christine Pajitsky is really good comic, too. Mm-hmm. There's, uh, what, what was that bitch's name? Uh, what was that bitch's name? Margaret Cho. You know Margaret Cho? She's uh, Korean. Margaret Cho, she's really funny, I've too. Heard her name, and Margaret I feel like Cho. I keep. I keep missing either she's on a podcast or even just keep mentioning her on podcast. She probably has a podcast. I don't know exactly what it was, but like Margaret Cho's really funny. Uh-huh. You know, a lot of people. I don't know if I have a friend. This is really comedy, but he's just like, yeah, I just don't like it when women sing in general. It's just it's not as good as a man's voice. I'm just like, oh man. So like, I guess maybe it would that comment like you know a stereotype probably in some people today still you know yeah most likely it's, it's a, just unfortunate. But it's a weird take. I don't like when women sing. Yeah, I don't like how women sing. Like I'm just like. What? But there are a lot of great people. I've, I, that's like, for me. Say, like, like Mark Carey, Winnie Houston, you know, that he's just like, mm. I'm just like, yeah, but it's, I just don't like it when women sing. I'm just like, this motherfucker's a little sexist. I, I think, think they do it the best. I think that female vocals are typically a lot better to listen to than male vocals. Yeah, like female vocals. <laughs> now I sound like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but like, uh, no, yeah, I think, uh, Men and women, you know, both have distinctions when it comes to uh, singing, but it's still very beautiful in essence when a woman sings, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I just like singing in general. Whatever, man. A monkey, a woman, a man, the fuck? a dog. I don't want to hear a monkey sing. Dogs can sing. Like shit. It's usually cute. Yeah dog, yeah, dog dog singing would be cute. I don't want to hear a monkey sing. That'd be, just be like a screeching cacophony of violence. But yes, <laughs> comedians, comedy. You know, celebrities, they're celebrities in on themselves, too, but we're more down to earth with them, like how we were talking about it earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some, you know, you when so comedians perform and everything like that, you know, it's nice having that personal connection with them. You know, until when you get that one fucking guy who's just like, well, fucking disagrees and starts trying to argue with fucking oh, yeah, comedians yeah. and shit. That's the one thing I hate about because I really love comedy, but I hate it because I went to a comedy show and I saw Bill Burr. There were like four hecklers that oh, night really? on Bill Burr. Whoa. It was crazy because Bill was just talking about some stuff and at first no one was saying anything. We were all laughing and like maybe 15 minutes into his fucking set and shit, he, saw, he brings up something about uh, the, it wasn't women. It, he brought up women like the second thing about it. And then, but the first thing he was talking about was fucking, uh, I can't, I can't remember what it was, but like, I, I guess I'll just use the one of the women, I guess. But he, when he started bringing it up and into the topic about women and abortion and shit, cause he brought it up. He's, I guess he just want to offend people at this point. Like yeah, there was one woman, he had blatantly said, you know, Bill Burr, like, you know, it, I'm. I'm I'm pro for whatever you want to do if it's your choice. He's pro pro choice. He's like it's up to you whatever you want to do. I'm not uh, I'm not gonna just shame on women if they do it or not or everything. Something along those lines. And mm-hmm. This woman thought literally that he was talking shit about abortion and stuff. She's like, well, fuck you and shit. And it's like he's like she didn't say like out loud, but she had said it. And she was like in the front row. And Bill's like, what? And he's like, are, are you okay, man? He's trying to talk to her like an actual person. And it's like she's just like, no, I'm just. And she just walked out. He's like, I didn't say it was a bad thing or anything. It was the I hate just fucking people like wow. that when they just like like Trump. 
like literally taking out of context of everything what a comedian is supposed to do it shows like man if you paid attention a little bit oh that's right i remember now this first guy was was one guy who's really fucking drunk yeah. and he was just yelling like back and forth what bill was saying he's like no i don't agree with that that's not funny that's not I'm just like oh my Jesus. fucking god i was just like dude that like four people dragged out of that fucking show like Two of them drunks, that woman who just left by herself, another guy who got into a fight with someone there in the seats. Is like, <sighs> people are fucking crazy when it comes to like these comedians who are trying to you know portray like intellectual thoughts in a funny way. You know, I'm just yeah, like, well, yeah. it's fucking Coachella, man. That's just the crowd. The only show that fucking rowdy people. The only show that I yeah. went to was to see Joe Rogan at the Sperm Vine. What uh, the Spectrum Sperm Vine Theater? Damn, oh, was it good? It was good, but nobody heckled. That's why I'm like, four people that heckled Bill Burr? Because the one I went to, like, there was one guy who was like, just like, ooh, cheering a lot, and Joe Rogan's like, all right, sh- sit down, bitch. <laughs> He's legit. He told him to shut up. <laughs> uh, being annoying. But, but, uh, but that's it. Like, nobody was heckling him, so it was a good show. How does it feel when you see, like, someone that, like, you kind of look up to like that? It like, was dude. weird, bro. It's like seeing a 3D hologram of he didn't look real even though he was right in front of me dude i know and i walked right past tony hinchcliffe too oh damn and i had i had a double take moment i'm like hey that guy's familiar uh, <laughs> did you get a picture with him no nah, he was already walking by and i was already like felt so oh, dumb because i double took yeah, double took double took i was like oh shit it's tony what and he probably heard me let's kill him <laughs> dude, that's a crazy thing like when i saw bill Burr, i'm just like man I was like, look at him, like, I've seen all the, like, most of the stuff that he's done when he does his comedy shit. I'm looking at him, I'm just like, man, he's a lot shorter in person than I thought he would be. But I'm just like, <laughs> he's there, like, his bald head, his beard. I'm just like, it's that's like, weird. It's like they're not really there, but they're there. Dude, it was crazy. Yeah. I, don't know how to, I didn't experience something like that for a while. So I was just like, wow. So I'm really excited when I go see Jacob Collier next week for, uh, for a concert. I'm going next week to next Thursday. I'm actually really excited to see, like, because he's not that much older than I am. He's like 25. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm just like, damn. He's got six Grammys already. I'm like, well, I mean, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you, you sent me a, a photo of one of his albums. Yeah, for like, inspiration for the album that I wrote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and John Mayer, but their album covers when it came to their faces. But. John Mayer. John Mayer. Hello, John Mayer. That's the concert I'm going to go see next. Either John Mayer or The Strokes. One of those two. I'm gonna definitely going to go see it next before I die at some point. Will you have a stroke at The Strokes? I do. That'd be pretty, uh, that'd be pretty picturesque. Yeah. That would be. I just wish they would play closer. That's the only thing. I don't, I don't want to drive for like two hours. <laughs> I know that a lot of comedians come out here. So I, I just got to like check out Tom, dates and stuff. Tom Segura was supposed, I think uh, it already passed, but he was oh. supposed to play at the 29. Spot 29. 29. Like, stop taking it. So I'm like, I almost bought one. I'm just like, shit. I'm like, no, I'll wait. I just saw Bilber. I'll wait. Wish I bought one. Honestly, wish I bought one. Yeah. Is I don't coming know. everywhere tour? Yeah, that's his new, uh, his new stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Because I don't want to buy a show that I've already kind of like seen on Netflix. <laughs> You're Zoom tight. You can watch his uh, YMH live shows. Those on their are great. Website. I've They're watched fantastic. Twice. I've, I've, I've watched two. Which ones? Um, I think maybe the ah uh, probably the second and the fourth one. The fourth one is very. Good. I saw the one with the Russian eye guy that <laughs> tries to cut some skin out of his eye. Uh, the heavy segments are so great. I love the heavy segments. <laughs> yeah. I think I watched the Caesar one time, right? The one. Watched the YMH live show. I think so. We got to the heavy segment at the end. Oh, was that's just a bunch. I remember just like just. Shit. I'm glad you know what we're and talking about because that's a, that's a thing to experience. Yeah, it, it truly is. I don't know where the next one is. It's so ah, oh. it's not for everyone, but if you're a fan of YMH, you understand. It's, you, you get it. It's like ah, yeah. Oh. yeah, it's terrible. It's great yeah. content. You, I think we talked about this before. We ever just look up like fucking. Live Leak isn't a thing anymore. But you ever just you used to look up just like Live Leak videos and just watch just insane, crazy, yeah, murders and just fucking honestly, crazy shit. This is gonna be really terrible, and I a lot no. of people said not to do this. <laughs> I tried to find that uh that 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 uh theme park accident. Oh, yeah, where a kid like he got his head cut off. And no, 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 there's a uh, one that happened recently where a kid, you know, those uh rides where they take you up real high on a tower and they yeah. talk you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah some yeah. kid fell off one of those. And I, I I did do that thing that you just said. I went to go see Did you find it? Like, yeah. I tried to find it. Was it was pretty fucked. You tried to find it. Was it was pretty Legit, fucked. like, did you see him hit the ground and shit? Um, that's, a, that's almost like the worst part. You don't <laughs> see him hit the ground, but you hear it. Oh, <gasps> uh, yeah. It's yeah, definitely a noise that you wouldn't expect to... Uh, a human to sound when they splat off him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, I want to see it now. And then the reaction, the reaction of everybody else, now that he's deceased, or, or I think he, he didn't die there, but and the reaction of everybody else is almost as sickening as like the sound. <laughs> it, they're not even really like screaming or anything. It's not like pandemonium. 
And it's just weird to see everybody like, oh shit, did you check him? Did, did we, yeah, we did the checks and everything. You can hear them talking about it. And then he's just right there. It's crazy. She's sending that video to our group chat so I can watch it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I kind of want to watch it now. <laughs> I'll try to find it because it's got the scrub apparently. Damn. Yeah. Damn you, internet. I'll, I'll, it's I'll, probably on Reddit somewhere. Yeah. That's yeah, where I found it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi, it's on local post. I'm, 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 I'm following r slash narcos. R slash narcos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. sometimes there's just like, it's like narcos executions. Like, oh, oh those heads off real the machetes. Narcos. Yeah. I thought I was That's still looking like, like a group who watched the show narcos. No, it was, no. 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 Tough crowd? No. Yeah. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Some monkey in here. <laughs> Neighbors are all acting crazy today. It's oh, probably wow. their kids. Yeah, fucking little demons. Little shitheads. Yeah. Well, I definitely looked around to see some of that crazy stuff. It's very Dude. interesting to, 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 to see the, the beginning and the end of a mortal foil. Yeah. That's the sad thing about being human, though. You know, death is just fucking, it's just inevitable. Yeah. If it's honest, though, I've th- I honestly been thinking about this, like, for the whole past month, like, because uh, my godmother passed away, you know, she's like 95, she's like, passed away, like, a week ago. I think about something, I'm just like, damn, one day, like, when I close my eyes, and I was just laying down in bed, like, I know I'm closing my eyes, and there's nothing there, but one day, I'm going to close my eyes, and it just won't open anymore. I'll just fade into nothing, I'm just like, wow, that's a scary thing, it's a little bit scary, but it's something, you know, everybody just embraces on their own terms. So, I thought about it, I was like, man, that's one of the craziest things, and I think about, like, cockroaches, because they can live for a thousands of years which kind of sucks where you can see like plants and, 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 and some animals just like keep progressing you yeah. know over time and just live longer than like in the average human lifespan of only a few decades i'm just like man that's crazy like, yeah yeah no it's, it's funny because uh death for us is totally something that's programmed in like, oh yeah programmed to die while other creatures actually aren't programmed to do that that's like, why people work hard you know yeah that's uh, alligators you can just keep feeding them it'll get bigger and bigger I don't know what really kills an alligator, but it's 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 a sign. I I saw a post about this on Reddit, and it's it's or and I saw an interview about it, or I heard on po- Joe Rogan's podcast or some other fucking podcast. And I, it, part of it is that sometimes they'll just get like they'll get too big to sustain themselves, and they'll just die of starvation, or they get some types of fucking diseases, or just like teeth will fall out. And they'll oh, alligators! Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll just get attacked and eaten by it, or attacked by another alligator. Like there's a video of one or a gator doing its. Legs ripped off by another alligator in the same pen. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, I can't imagine. Yeah. Lobsters, too. They have something similar. Lobsters? Ooh, yeah. a giant lobster? That sounds good. There's fucking with coconut crabs in Japan and, like, some other islands and shit. They're fucking they're, they're scary. They're the size of, like, a trash can. Lid. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Giant Jesus. fucking crabs. It's insane. So are we going red lobster after this? Or what? Talk yeah. about seafood. I, I, I specifically hate... Uh, arthropods. Is that what they're called? What's the whole? What's the species of of, of uh, lobster and crabs? Because those are two creatures I despise. Animology? Yeah. No. Uh, no, not animology. Um, but, but like 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 the family of that of those creatures of shrimp, lobster, and crabs. I fucking hate them so much. I refuse to eat them so that they'll be just that little bit less of a demand in the market for these creatures. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it includes. I think. Yeah. They look so disgusting. You look at their faces. A little bits of things that move around. Yeah, uh-huh. they're, they're in the same family as roaches and scorpions, and yeah, that's why they're like you know. Yeah, yeah, that's why the, the lobster uh-huh. used to be considered like shit meat. We give it to fucking surfs on like the fucking rice fields. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And it's also in the Bible says you shouldn't eat lobster either. It's unholy. Yeah, it's unholy. Yeah, yeah. But we don't t- fuck the Bible. We're not talking <laughs> about fucking those fucking. You question the words of the mighty Jimmy. Of stories that weren't even written by fucking one person. They were written by multiple fucking people who just yeah, put yeah, in this yeah. fucking book like. Oh, did I offend some people by saying that? Like, so I don't give a fuck. It's a fight. Yeah, you're gonna get canceled too. I don't give a fuck. Community. Oh man. No. Oh boy. We're gonna they come back. Like Harry Potter. Yeah. When they come back with some actual evidence about God existing, then I fucking you know. I believe Jesus was an actual person. Look at a rainbow season. Okay. You're gonna tell me God doesn't exist. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna listen to the laugh of a no. That's called child. science. That's called so science. Why I, that's that's called science. Why that rainbow is right there. You're gonna look at the night that. A, ho- a Hobbleman's nice pair of jiggling jugs in a white t-shirt contest. I kind of get that God one. doesn't exist. I kind of get that one. Sometimes I see. Oh yeah, well that's different for us. Yeah, I could be like, oh thank God. <laughs> you're gonna take a fat shit that almost hurts coming out, and at the end you're gonna feel so satisfied and tell me God doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> there, are, there are no atheists. Are you? Fox you're not a dude. dude. One time, ever taking one of those shits? It's. Both terrible and great. Dude, I took a shit one time. I remember, and I had to get naked for because I was sweating so hard. Was oh, so wow. Like, I was like, as oh, I was wow. there, I was like, I took my shirt off first. I was like, 
fuck yeah, I'm sorry to do all that. Oh, I think and I was just like, <laughs> oh man. Uh, That's when I was like really fat. I was sick of my diet. Was... I've been constantly, but I think that's a different thing that you guys were talking about. I felt one, the one that I felt one time was like, it wasn't the size of a football, that's how it felt. It was like easy at the beginning and then it got harder and progressive, and then it's like, ah! I hate it when it's like that and like cuts you a little bit. Like, it was just like fucking, I was sitting there and I was like, oh, mm. fuck it. I was like, I right, only do a little bit at a time, too. It was just like, it's just fucking. Hurts. I hate when I think it's gonna be just huge. And then I look and I'm like, oh, that's kind of like just a normal sized shit. Why did that hurt so bad? Yeah. It also depends on what you eat sometimes, you know. It, to make, it could be a little amount, but it could hurt like hell, or it could be like a big ass amount, but it comes out so fucking smooth, you know. It just flies right out of the van. Yep. Yep. I definitely have those two really good. I was talking to Caesar about this earlier, right? Where I don't talk or talk well and I get fucking bullshit fucking food with jalapenos in it. Mm. Then the next morning it just floods out. But yeah. Then afterwards you feel amazing. It's like, ah. Refreshed. It might be good. Yeah. It's a, that's yeah. what I think about sometimes. It's like, man, that'll happen, but it'll. I'll feel better afterwards. I'll feel better than than being starving. Yeah, it could be like Drano, you know. Yeah, Drano really gets everything out of you real fast. Definitely. That's a fair point. Yeah, yeah. I keep I keep seeing these ads on YouTube for this guy that talks about how um how how your body's storing fecal matter inside you and how it's really bad and it's gonna like fecal it's, matter it's toxins it's what it's, it's creating fuck? toxins in your body. Uh, and then I just sit back and think, like, I don't, I don't think so. He's man. just trying to sell something. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be there. I think your body's squeezing out it's, all the nutrition of the things that are in your body. It's like a SpongeBob episode. I think there's someone trying to sell me something. He turns around and he's like, oh, there's no one. And then he goes back and there's two fucking magazine sells him behind a rock. Oh. <laughs> yeah, everyone's a fucking scam artist. Yeah. That's the fucking. But not us. We write high quality content. Well, we're not really oh yeah, like throwing up into yeah. a bucket. I gotta go get yeah, that weird. shit outside later because right. there's still one. I it out. Yeah, I wash it. I did wash, but there's still some stuff that was frozen and thawed. I'm like, hang on. I'll just clean it out again before I take it inside. I'm gonna have to. It was awful. We couldn't let your dogs eat the. Uh, the no, 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 I don't think they would like that. Nah, no, I don't think they would. Sometimes dogs like dogs like ice. Dogs like vomit. Yeah, shit. Yeah, they definitely like shit. They like rocks too. Oh, yeah, as long as you rock, it it's sucks. Weird. No, it's awful. Uh, well, we have this dog at our house, and and she just it's not yours. Us. You just have no, Fuck this dog. Yeah, he's but, just here. Yeah. But she she'll go out to the yard and she'll just bring rocks inside, and then she'll just bring the rock with her everywhere. She'll go upstairs with the Dude, rock. That's how. Eat. No, don't not they don't bring it. They just eat it. They'll eat the rock. Oh no, she just brings a rock around everywhere. That's how my dogs are when it comes to bread. Like when like. My, oh, yeah. my dad in the mornings when he goes to work, some fucking, I don't know fucking why he thinks this. Like, when I buy croissants or, like, he buys, like, some sort of pastry bread, whatever it is. When it's just, he just eats a bit, and he's just the dog see him, and he throws him a piece of bread. But these motherfucking dogs don't eat it, Daisy especially. She just carries it around everywhere and watches her. Either that, or when he gives him, like, a piece of cheddar cheese, like a thick one, they don't eat it. She just carries it around her mouth and brings it everywhere. But she's watching it. She's just, like, looking at it. I'm just like, you know what? I wake up sometimes, like, fucking today, when I'll do this recording, and I sit down on the edge of my bed, and guess what's there? Oh, a dried piece of fucking French bread is there. And it's all crumbly, and it's still under my bed. I just pick it up later. I was like, what? Fucking God. (laughs) Who the fuck keeps giving these dogs bread? And I already know who it is. I think what it is is these are American dogs. Because your dad probably was used to doing that in Mexico with the Mexican dogs who are hungry all the time. But these American dogs aren't. So they're just like, oh, yeah, they're, pretty boy. Big. they're pretty big. They're pretty picky, my dog. They only eat shit that my mom cooks for them. And they only eat dog food as a snack. They don't use it as their meal. <laughs> it's, it's true. Because the bowl's always there. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's late night when they're really hungry, like I guess I need to talk for you. Bougie ass dogs. Oh man, that's cool. Our dogs <laughs> That's my parents' fault though. My mom says it's my dad's fault for spoiling them. Fuck you. You you spoiled them too by cooking for them. But yeah. No, our dogs are very much not spoiled. <sighs> you yeah. take what they can get. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they got to fight over it. Sometimes a little blood is shed. I, you know, I try not to the flavor. I try not to let that happen oh. because one of them is a chihuahua and the other one's uh, a, a, a cow. A cow is Oh, I thought you said a cow. I'm like, what? <laughs> My dog's a cow. <laughs> Fat <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Some pretty big dogs. You can pick a from them. You can a cow. Dalmatian kind of looks like a cow. Yeah. I have a fat Dalmatian. Fucking skinny. My horse Dan had a fat Dalmatian. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, she was so nice. I like that dog. Oh, that's good. 
She died. So no. did Stan. Yeah, they tend to do that. So like, did Stan. Yeah, all the cool dogs, they live for like five years and then you got like executed. Yeah, that's why I like. <laughs> I like big up. dogs. Yeah. I like really like big dogs. You can't lie. Ah, da, da, oh, da, big, my big dog is out of place. Shut the fuck up. That was the song that I yeah, used to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, that was the song. No, wait. No, it wasn't. I was singing. Oh, the Shakira. Yeah, yeah, I was singing. I like Britney. What's in my camera? Oh, my dad. Because I just think of every time I hear like someone talk about butts with eyes, I'm like, yeah, Shakira. Yeah, she, she, she does. She does. She does have those. Does she have a big butt? Because I thought it was just a waist. I thought she was more. No, it's her hips. Her yeah, hips. Yeah. Yeah. Good her wide hurting hips. hips. Yeah. Oh. Slub that fucking dick in that. Her yeah. hips. Amazing. And Colombian women, in general, are all amazing because she happens to be one of them. Yeah. You know. Especially light skinned Colombian women, in my opinion. It's like, wild, bro. What they can do to my brain is wild, bro. Shit. Lately, yeah. I've been really into black women for some reason. I, like, I've I been trying to expand more <laughs> because I feel like I don't really I don't really see enough of the world. <laughs> I think the internet just mostly puts white women for me. Let me get this Indonesian bitch. So I specifically right. look up black women sometimes, yes. Right, right. You get a Kenyan fucking VPN. It's gonna be a Kenyan porno. Dude, that's oh, a smart geez. idea. I never thought of that. Yeah. I can look up Kenyan fucking women. What is it? Uh, I'm trying to think of what, what, uh, what country specifically I think has the most beautiful. I think it's Ethiopian women. But beautiful? Yeah, because I met a couple. My, my aunt does this weird thing where she like brings people from other parts of the country and they live there for a while. Oh. Yeah. Well, what cool. if it was an Ethiopian woman? She's really cool. Yeah. Also Swedes. Unlike like European, like you know, women yeah. are very beautiful and stuff like that. You know, w- women that we aren't used to seeing. I sort of strong Viking features. Tinka, tinka, turkey. That's a very bad sound. Yeah, have you ever seen the movie uh, Midnight Summer? No, no, nope. no. Nope. Definitely an interesting watch for anybody who uh who wants to watch a really interesting movie. Let me put it that way. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. It's like shit to me. It, it, they go to Sweden and then, yeah, they have the whole Swedish accents. And oh, for while, yeah! For a while, I got stuck on doing fake Swedish accents, which is fun to do sometimes. You know, I think they did more of a German accent. German. 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 German accents. Get Schnell! 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 Okay. There's a couple of German girls on Instagram. I think they're cute. Dude, uh, I get like Instagram profiles that pop up on my page of like really beautiful women, and I click on them, and you know, obviously they're like my links, my OnlyFans, and you know what I do? I don't go to that OnlyFans. I go to Reddit and type their name in, and all the most of their shit is right there. Yeah, yeah. no, no, it really is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Every morning, I have to ask myself, why is it? How is there so much imagery of women on the internet? This is crazy. Mm-hmm. Every single morning, it's there this is taken. It's I, I'm on Reddit. Every single morning. That's all I use Reddit for is porn. Yeah. It's all, it's all new. It just keeps coming in. It's great. I love it. It's I'm never weird. bored. How? Because it, it's just like, before it was like, oh, girls just were really proud about their nudes. It was a huge thing. Now they're just like, buy my fucking nudes. Now it's like, hey, buy this. You see these? These are my tits. Go they're, they're, pay $5. They're... You can see more of these tits that are already here. They've commercialized it. It's great. Hey, man, it's a business, you know? You got to yeah. sell what you got. Yeah. It's, I mean, uh, it's capitalism. Yeah. But mainly because of this, you know, I've, I've seen a lot more women now. I've seen a lot of different shapes. Yeah, like, shapes, colors, you know, everything. Mm-hmm. The whole shebang. I feel like it's maybe less sexist. <laughs> maybe less sexist. Maybe less sexist. Less sexist. Yeah, maybe. Racist. yeah. Whoa. You're right. Dude. Ah. I'll, there's a, there's this thing I do want to talk about, though. I okay. really want to talk about Will Smith. Oh, yes. I really want to fucking talk about Will Smith. All right, so, uh, Stu, you seem excited about it. Nick, not so much. He looks like I'm, 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 I'm just lying. <laughs> I was laughing. Nick's like, what are we even talking about? Will Smith did not. I don't have him. Yeah. I've heard talking about it a while already. Right? Yeah, dude, I fucking. So, if you guys don't know, at the Oscars, everyone knows. Chris, uh, but hey, maybe there's someone who isn't. Chris Rock, Rock and listen you to know. this podcast. Yeah, who would listen to this fucking podcast? This is where they find out about it. Exactly. This, this is, is where they find out about it. No, but yeah, Chris Rock uh, made a very mild, I repeat, mild joke about Will Smith's uh, wife, about uh, Chris Rock saying uh, G-I, a G.I. Jane 2 joke because of her shaved head. Mm-hmm. You know. And so she's got alopecia. Yeah, but she was offended because, like, oh, I have alopecia. I don't think that joke was funny. And so Will Smith fucking laughs at the joke first. And then, like, he's like, I see my wife is disgusted. I'm going to go shoot. Maybe that was a weird cut. Maybe it was a weird cut they did. I don't know. Yeah. 
Well, who's to say what happened? Exactly. But like, and he just walks up to the stage, blatantly assaults Chris Rock on mm. live TV, right. and gets away with it, and wins a uh, uh, fucking uh, uh, actor of the fucking year. Mm. Yeah. You and then they banned him for ten years. Yeah, then they banned him for ten years. But you couldn't script that shit. No yeah. one's gonna do anything about it because, like, oh, it's Will Smith. Do we just keep going? You know, because oh, like yeah. black man, we can't, yeah. we can't, we can't assault him. No, because he was fucking. He, he had his uh, his status. There, yeah. They weren't gonna yeah. stop him because he had his status. You know, mm. even then, when it comes to war shows, like you kind of you're at work still, man. Like, you know, you can't be going up and fucking hitting people and shit. Like, Chris Rock took it like a champ, obviously, and played it off well. But, like, I, I fucking hate Will Smith for doing that. I don't hate him as, a, like, an actor. He's a great actor, but, like, that just kind of, that just ruins his image, like, completely for now. Mm-hmm. Like, what? And that kind of gives people the fucking feeling now to, like, go up and hit, like, an actual comedian when they're on stage and oh, shit. Yeah. Like, oh, Will Smith did it. Why can't I fucking do it, you know? Yeah. But, like, that's just gives, it gives comedy such a bad fucking name in general. Because it was a very mild joke. And Chris Rock wasn't making fun of fucking uh, uh, her alopecia. He was making fun of the fact that she was just bald. Not that she was bald because of her yeah. alopecia. It's yeah. not the same fucking thing. Uh, it? Well, I mean, there's a, there, I mean, I've seen women with bald heads. In, yeah, and she's still hot. Like a, she's still hot. Yeah, so I mean, if I didn't know anything about her, I would be like, oh, bald head because she looks yeah, hot. Yeah, because whatever. Pull it off. Yeah, it's just an appearance thing. He's not making fun of her alopecia. Yeah. Well, she was just yeah, using yeah, that yeah. as a fucking excuse a little bit. She's like, oh, I have alopecia. Find a Shut the fuck up. But she wasn't making fun of your fucking thing. He was making fun of the right. fact that you're of an appearance, not because of your, right. this led to exactly your appearance, it. you know? Yeah, yeah. That's the stupidest fucking thing. I was just like, my well, God. No, she's not saying that, she, she was saying that he was making fun of that. She was just saying that it was insensitive him to, for him to make a joke about uh, a side effect of her condition. Yeah, and that's her fucking problem. You know, this is just an appearance he's making fun of. He wasn't targeting anything towards her condition, man. Mm-hmm. You know? It was just a joke. Yeah. That's just how comedians are when it comes to shows like that. You know, they're hired to make fun of everybody and shit. You yeah. get, you know, sometimes during shows, it was someone who gets picked on more than others, but that's fucking fine, you know? And I don't think you, like, picked on me for, like, for, like your whole show or anything. No! I think it was just, like, that joke, maybe some other ones that you didn't see or hear about. It's the fucking stupidest thing, because that's just their job, you know? That's what they're doing, you know? And they're over here, like, just fucking them up and shit. Like, Listen, if... And I know this is a hot take. Probably the hottest take that's ever been given on this subject. This is the hottest take I think that I just came up with right now. If Amy Schumer had been the one that said the joke and got slapped, I wouldn't have cared at all. Oh yeah, everybody can. Yeah, no, no, that's that. fine. Fuck yeah. Amy Schumer. I would have laughed. I would have laughed really hard. Hot take. Hot take. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. No, you, here's what would have happened. She would have said the joke and then no one would have laughed and everything. Look at that side. And then that. And, <laughs> no, and then nothing would have happened. And then that would have been the joke in itself. Then nothing happened. Everyone was silent. Oh, <laughs> just, everyone just acknowledged your joke was not funny. I, I really would well, like she's not, <laughs> not funny. Yeah. That would be funny. The abrupt silence. Then you did stop. I'll start laughing. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then he wins the Oscar. <laughs> they stopped the show. No, Will. You have to get this to me right now. Yeah. We're gonna see this for the next like half hour. Now you get it right now. Yeah. Oh, it's just. We're gonna give you this award too. Fuck you, Chris Pratt. We're gonna make it a new award. Yeah. They yeah. were with their head turned this way. Damn. <laughs> Damn. The best Oscar moment of the generation goes to Will Smith. That would be crazy. That motherfucker's stupid, man. So, I mean, I guess I do have some hot takes on it. He could have done, you Real know... Real actual hot takes, sorry. The civilized thing about it. You know, after the show, when the cameras are down, he went up to Chris Rock. He's like, hey, you know, me and my wife don't appreciate that joke because of this. And so, and obviously, we would apologize. Like, decent human being at that point. But instead, he just walks up with that fucking attitude that he had yeah. in his fucking step. He's like, I'm going to fucking slap this bitch, you know? Yeah. The, the, the one actual serious take is... A lot of people are thinking that that's actually appropriate because it's a man standing up for his wife, which is a, a thing that I don't think we should support in no. that way. You can yes. you can be standing like, hey, up for women. I fuck that. Well, I was gonna say you can you can be like, hey, don't don't. I'm not gonna let you disrespect my wife like that. Apologize to her. But you you, you can't say like, oh, you can hit a guy just because he made your woman. No, there's never right. a need for fucking violence. And yeah, shit. and this ain't the fucking like. You know, like nineteen seventies and below, when one guy would rub you the one get wrong way, you'd go the fucking beat day. his, you go beat his ass and shit, or for some burn a cross on his fucking lawn. Yeah, because yeah. violence was like a a main solution for a while for like some things, but nowadays, it's like, no, why you fucking violent? But just talk about people, talk about your feelings, interact with someone, communicate, so yeah. you can come to an understanding. You know, about be civilized about this. There's no fucking hate and shit in this world already. It's weird because I think there's a generational gap where people still think, oh yeah, if someone's giving me a problem, you just 
fuck him up. Let's go kick his ass. Like, like I've heard that from men who are like in their forties, still talking about how they're gonna go fuck someone up. And I'm like, dude, you're in your fucking forties. What are you talking about? You're still like know. a fourteen year old. Dude, it's the fucking stupidest fucking. But shit, if they are punch, then. Uh, yeah. Well, at that point, yeah, yeah. Then, then, hey, man, it's all, fine. All bets are off. <laughs> but like, I was hanging out with my cousin, and he was talking about how he like was like this close to beating up like a neighbor of his because he didn't like the way that he like would talk to him or whatever. And it's like you can't do that because you're gonna go to jail, bro. <laughs> Dude, crazy people, man. Crazy yeah. fucking people. This is a, uh, one of my uh, a coworker of mine would tell me about one of his cousins and his cousin's girlfriend who's like literally insane. He doesn't mm-hmm. like let him do anything whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Not talk to any other women or just fucking nothing. Absolutely nothing. No drugs. Nothing. Just yeah. hates the fact that he does anything because of everything. I'm just like, my God. And I guess one time he sent me the story of like how they parked in the in the driveway after they came back from something. Like his cousin and his girlfriend when they were coming to visit. And like the neighbor's like daughter, like 15 or 16, got out of her car because she had just come from school and shit. And like her boyfriend was just in the car and she gets out and she sees this girl across the street and as soon as he gets out of the car, why the fuck are you looking at her? And she starts like throwing a tantrum and like goes up to the girl, <laughs> tells her off and like he <laughs> comes back and then my, my car goes like what the fuck what are you doing literally and like had to go apologize like to the neighbors or something like she's like him and his cousin like what i was like she's just fucking crazy don't like do it she did nothing this girl she would just get out of her car wow. after school with her backpack walking back inside that was unlocking the door didn't even turn to look at her just was walking around her own business i was like this girl sounds fucking insane that's crazy i feel like that's not that's something that definitely happens to girls sometimes <laughs> A oh, grown ass woman comes and gives you shit because their husband or whatever just happened to look away. I swear that that's not a thing that happened the one time. That's the thing that probably it happens. It happens, definitely. Yeah. But that's just how you know a woman's really insecure about herself and shit when they start saying shit like that. To a child. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, stop being such a slut and <laughs> child. You see that? My husband's trying to fuck you. <laughs> Go do your homework. You fucking <laughs> whore. God, that's crazy, dude. It's just, man, <clears throat> people. This. I think my I sister is one of those people, though. Not to put her on blast, but she's not necessarily so. Your fucker. sister? Yeah. Yo, who's going to watch this? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, because my sister's always talking. Whenever she, um, uh, she'll, she'll be talking about, uh, her boyfriend or whatever. And a lot of the times I hear, oh, fucking so and so is like trying to get on my boyfriend's nuts or whatever. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure? Maybe you don't just fucking, are you sure it's not just a normal interaction and you're trying to see more mm-hmm. into it because you're insecure or something? I don't know. Oh, she probably gets mad if you say that if to I her. If I say that to her, she'll, yeah, I can't say that to her because then I just won't have a sister. Because then I'm going to have to go, just divorce myself from the entire family to avoid my sister. You know. People be dumb. People be dumb. Yeah. yeah. No, she definitely, uh, the, the, the people just in general definitely see a situation in the worst possible way. Yeah, they like to find things that make shit, you know. Like, when, like my fucking grandma, whenever I don't hang out with you or Marjorie for a while, she's like, did you get a fight or something? It's like, why do you always think of, like, the worst fucking thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. No, it's just, it's, it's busy, just tired. Yeah. I have an arm like that, yeah. Exactly, yeah. It's, it's like, why, why are you fucking, she'd be like, oh, you don't hang out with so-and-so? Is there something wrong? Yeah, oh, like, no, we're, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're both individuals who are busy with our own things. He rubbed me the wrong way and I kicked his ass. It's because she's, yeah. she, and, and whenever I'm just like at home I'm on the weekends, I'm just like tired on the juice. She's like, you're not going to go out or anything? It's like, it's not like the fucking 70s when you didn't have fucking, oh, you yeah. didn't have all those other shit to do, huh? But yeah, we're also anti-social here. fucking people, though. Let's yeah, be honest. Yeah, I'm blurry. Yeah, I'm like, you don't want to go out anywhere. It's like fucking go out with who? I'm just by myself. Why would I on my own just go out? That sounds retarded. I like going out by myself though. Sometimes like I think to it's a bar important. or something though. Or oh, no, some, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not gonna go. Yeah, or I don't want to go anywhere by myself. Because why the fuck would I do I mean, that? I like uh, going uh, to stores by myself. I'll go to the drive-through. I kind of want to go to the mall. Actually, I think about it. I don't want to go to the mall. But I don't want to shop and go anywhere. I want to buy anything. I just like walking, looking at shit. Yeah, I like when I have a bunch of different shit to buy that's at separate stores, and I'm like, all right, eight o'clock, and then I get in my car, and stop one, and then usually the cash register people are like with salesmen. It's what makes the whole experience because they'll say hi, and I'll say hi. I'm like, oh, this is a good positive interaction. I like this. Doesn't matter what the cashier is, uh, male, uh, female, yeah. whatever. I just like talking to people just that little bit. It's pleasant, and then I go home, and then I don't see the world for another month. But then traffic is shitty and other people shopping are shitty. It, it can be like that. Well, that's why I go early in the morning. Because nobody's out. That's true. Yeah. That's a fair point. One time I went to Subway and there's, I walked in. And Subway? There's, and there's a guy just sitting there on his mm-hmm. phone, right? And I'm like, all right, he's fucking waiting for his shit to be done or whatever. So yeah. I go up and then there's a lady in front of me and we were both going over. 
I'm like half, I'm like a little over halfway down getting my fucking toppings and my lettuce and tomatoes and shit or whatever. He comes up and he's like, yeah, the app's not working on my phone. I don't want ever. And he starts going off on this whole fucking thing. Oh my about God. How he, he, uh, my order, it says it charged me for this and I didn't get this. And I want a full refund. And why isn't the app working? I want to talk to the manager. And it's like, mm-hmm. why can't you just realize that it's not there? It's not this subway's fault and these employees' fault. It's the shitty, stupid subway app that you're trying to use because you're an idiot. Why would you yeah. use the subway app? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so that's just like a common tendency on like old people technology. Yeah, like, he doesn't know. He's just like one of his like thirties, forties. Well, he's he's some fucking, fucking big, bald, big bald gay guy. Maybe he's fucking stupid. I don't know. Yeah, he's probably stupid. I even find out. I'm trying to think about. I'm trying to think about what. Oh, what? that's not stupid. Yeah. What would have been the solution there for him? Don't use the app and just order it the way that yeah, you used to like ordering it. Yeah, just be like, well, I ordered this guy. Could I get a refund? But, like, is it showing the receipt? Whatever. I'm sure you got email the receipt. I hope your fucking mail. Probably not. He's probably too stupid to click that. I'm sure he could have been like, hey, look. This is what I want, and the guy would have just made that and handed it to him. And if then some more money needs to be exchanged, the man could have came in. It, yeah, it probably didn't have to be a big deal. Yeah, the point is, it didn't have to be a whole big hobble of him fucking being all high and mighty and titled. But people make big deals about fucking everything. It's so yeah. fucking stupid. Yeah. Well, some people do, because I don't feel yeah. like I do. No, no, I try. I, I, I try not to. Like, but sometimes I, when I'm on my work, it does slip out a little bit. But I don't. But my, I, when I'm out in public and stuff, like I do. Uh, tend to be like very considerate of other people and so stuff. I try to be at work, but sometimes, yeah, you know, I'm just like, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah. Because let me let me let me take you, take you to a situation where I could have been that person. <clears throat> oh shit! I remember I had to go pick up my sister from school. And it was one of those things where I'm like, oh the fuck, this kid is always trying to like get out of school. What's up? It's kind of, like, it's kind of annoying. I didn't factor in the fact that she's like uh, she's going through her med school thingy. She's, oh, she's finally that age, huh? Wait, no, my bad. Is that? Huh? Don't worry she's about it. She's pregnant. Yeah, it's no, not... no, she's having a period. But but oh oh, oh that's right. That's talking right. about this, but anyways, now I know why she's always out of school. But I was upset because she always was coming out of school. I'm like, what the fuck is up with this? Oh, I see what you're saying. And then I go to try to park, and then all the spots are taken, and then I get to a spot that's really narrow, like all the way at the back, and I have to like fucking five point turn my way out of there. So far, the school hasn't really done anything to piss me off, but I'm already pissed off at the school for no reason at all. I'm just, I'm already like hair trigger ready to like hear something from the lady that I have to talk to to set me off to then like say some dumb shit. Even though she's never been mean to me before. I think these are all just different experiences that have pissed me off, layering together into this experience that could have happened. Yeah. But thankfully that lady is really nice and is super quick and I did lose my shit. But maybe that's how these things happen. Yeah. You just project a bunch of angry shit everywhere and then it's all bad <laughs> and then you react. Oh, oh, I'm oh, sorry, Nick. Is that too real? You explain Nick a lot. That's fucking Nick. Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> oh, but. Yesterday. Oh, so Beatles. interesting. Uh, I hung with Marjorie yesterday, went to the gym, and went to Henry's efforts. And then, and then I was going home. I was like, I haven't eaten a latte. I should probably get some, I should probably eat something. So I was thinking, okay, I could either go home and make just like a fucking ham sandwich, and maybe just like microwave some chicken nuggets or some shit. Or. I used to be a fat ass going to Carl's Jr. and get a chicken sandwich and some jalapeno mm. That sounds really good. Yes. Yeah. So as I'm right there, I'm like, mm, it can go either way. I'm like, fuck it, I'll be a fat ass. And then I'm, I'm falling in, there's a person in front of me, and they go directly in the, in the drive thru as well. I'm like, all right, this is our first red flag. I should have just gone home. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> so then we're in the drive thru, and they take a few minutes to order because they want one of their burgers protein style mm-hmm. and that, that means it's covered with lettuce instead of the bun right yeah yeah, yeah. but they don't say that they, they say i want can, but can i get it with no onions and no tomato and no bun and can you put it wrap it with lettuce instead and they're doing all this shit all this, all this other shit with their fucking meals it takes yeah. them like five minutes and they fucking go and i order my shit and i'm doing up there and then the 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 second thing that there was that was the second red flag the third red flag was that uh, they got told to uh, wait in the front parking lot, and I also got told to wait in the front oh, parking lot. Oh, that's always bad, too. And yeah. I was like, we're the only two fucking people here. Mm. What the fuck? So there, and then it takes, from there, like another seven minutes for me to get my shit, and I'm like, fuck, I should've just gone home, this is bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And it was just all fucking bad, it was terrible. And then, uh, but I got a free cheesecake for it. I see. But see, so, the difference between your story, mitigated. the difference between your story and mine is you got fucked by the world, and I was just upset that I had to go pick up my sister. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you actually were done dirty by the establishment. Well, you, you, 
had, you had no place to park, or you had to go around, and fucking you had to deal with her bullshit. You know, it's as much it's the same thing. Compounding factors. Yeah, yeah. I, I I wouldn't be as upset with myself if I was in your situation because they were obviously fucking off, and I've worked at a fast food place. If they're parking you and there's only two people, they're they've literally just been smoking weed in the back, doing jack shit all day. All right. I want everyone listening to understand. If there's only two people in the drive-thru and it's taking forever, they're smoking weed in that building. You better tell the manager. <laughs> okay, they're walking there. Hey, I know what you're doing here. Yeah. They're taking way too long for normal, n- normal non inebriated persons. Yeah. Opens Find the yourself. window to get their order and shit. Blows a big old pump of smoke. Yeah. Hey, that's just what you guys do back there. It's like, shit, Dude, the number of times where I've opened the, the, the drive-thru window to hand over food, and all I see is a lean back seat, legs, and then a hand with a joint, and then just <laughs> Jesus. Hey man. And yes, I am talking about black people, but that's because they're long. Their arms are doing hey long enough. Hey man, wait, hey man. I mean, they have arms long enough to reach to grab the bag, where I still don't see their face. Hey man, fuck this guy. <laughs> Reggie, get the fuck out of here. They had their seat like a lawn chair, dude. It was crazy. And I'm not against it. I'm not saying you shouldn't. Be intoxicated while driving through a drive-thru. Well, 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 I'm just six texts, baby. No. knew what I saw. What you're saying is, well, you shouldn't be as black, but you know, here we go. You can be black and do all of those things. I'm damn fine with it. No, you can't. No. If you were white, I'd be like, oh, is that an alien? <laughs> yeah, you just make it seem like it was some alien or some like, guy murdered and dismembered his corpse. It was some fucking, some weekend at Bernie's shit where he's leaning back so you can see there's a dismembered arm coming out of the grab and shit. No, he just yeah. had really long arms. <laughs> Got a fucked up person. You just talk. That's all guy. That's like cartoon. You don't see anything. Just you don't see that might be in the space jams with Michael Jordan does that dunk from across the floor. He feels like that. Just reached it. Uh, uh, didn't say anything. Handed you the money, left his arm out, and then he got his. Uh, well, they pay at the first one, so they literally uh, just reach in the back of the Oh, that makes all the difference, right? Okay. Uh, um, I swear it was the same guy too, man. Always oh, fucking reeking. <laughs> Yeah, I've had experiences like that where yeah. someone would just come in somewhere and they'd just be reeking of weed. I'm like, oh. yeah, I've been that guy before. It's I kind probably of, have to. It's kind of cool because their whole setup is like situated around smoking weed while driving. You have the ashtray, the perfect spot, the pine back. Snoop Dogg does it. Why can't I? Yeah, yeah. He probably invented that that, that style of driving. God damn. Yeah. Well, lads, I think we should start to wrap it up a little bit. This has been going on. We haven't done one in a while, but this is like really good. Like this is probably almost two hours. I love yeah, this. Yeah, a while. Quite a few interruptions. Oh, I know. Cuts, but you know. But hey, it was still good. It's still good. The first half, the second half, solid. The middle, maybe a little rough, but it's fine. It's fine. But let's give out uh, some music recommendations, guys. Yes. I think we got definitely got to do that to end this strong because we started good about music and then yeah, try to talk about Kanye West and shit, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, we sure did. What are you guys going to recommend? You guys have an idea? Um, I guess I can go first if you guys want. Yeah, whatever. You got it right. I'll go last because I'll probably have long explanations and shit. So, okay. so uh, just real quick, my first recommendation is actually to a channel called um, Jacob Lizot. Uh, that's J-A-C-O-B and then Lizot, L-I-Z-O-T-T-E. It's kind of hard to spell. All right. All right. And uh, the reason why I'm, I'm uh, gonna shout this person out, they made a royalty-free uh, heavy metal instrumental song. Ooh. You can find it. It's called "Game Over." It's a royalty-free song, and uh, mm-hmm. it was actually I was looking for music for the Dante's Inferno. I wanted some uh, like heavy metal stings, you know, some riffs, some cool stuff like that. And uh, yep, yeah, I just pulled a bunch of stuff from that exact same royalty-free song. And uh, it's, it's just really good music. Like it's real solid uh, rock and roll, real heavy metal stuff. It sounded dope, and uh, it's awesome that I could just download that, use it in a project, and it's high quality music. So damn, uh, that's crazy. Out, shout out to Jacob. He made an awesome uh, asset that I can use in a video, and uh, I had a lot nice. of fun working with it. I like it when the artists make music like that that you can actually use and like no royalties or anything it has to go in the way of stopping. You can just use it and be like, all right, perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nick. Always, always an interesting to do. That's not high. Too fucking high. Yeah, so, me too. The, me too. all two recommendations. So first, first is uh, this guy, uh, Zach Valer. Is it's uh, is it Zach Z Z A C K and Valer is V I L L E R E. He's a pretty young guy. I heard him from Matt Watson. A similar type of it's like vibey, you know, uh, somewhat softer electronic music, you know, and some other like uh, 
strings and other types of shit put in there. Mm. It's real, nice. real, real vibey shit. It's you can tell you can tell he's, he's making it on his own or tight or really like small production crew like you. You know, you, you, there's a type of style you can you can hear it in 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 like people newer people's music. You oh, can just oh. tell it's like it, it, it's it, it's good though. It amplifies you know it, it adds more depth to it because you know that it's they're they're fucking. You know, yeah, how hard the, the work they're putting in to make it sound this fucking good, you know? Is it kind of like the early, like, Joji tracks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. It's not, you, you, know, you don't hear the, the mass produced, like, fucking. It's not super it sound clean. Yeah, it doesn't say, exactly. There's a lot yeah, of texture yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm on that same vein, but in a different type of genre. It's Freddy Dread, and I think I might have. I love it before. Freddy Dread. Yeah, I fucking love Freddy Dread. Yeah. Whenever one of the songs that Red Rum comes on, I'm just like, fucking, ah! It's, it's just need a little bit more murder in my life, you know? It's fucking, I, it just, it, it, it hits the spot sometimes. I really like the, the vocals that he samples in Cha Cha. It's, uh, oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah, actually yeah. a Japanese Brazilian uh, artist who does those vocals. Oh. She sings in Portuguese. And it's, Portuguese might be one of the, like, the most beautiful uh, languages to hear. Yeah. Uh, uh, singing to yeah that. it's really amazing so yeah in right. my opinion yeah that's honestly the best language to listen to when you want to hear someone sing something beautiful it's portuguese mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, i've actually i'll recommend that, that artist too when i get to it for me yeah so i'll just like go back now that was about it that was about it yeah. all right well talking about portuguese i wasn't gonna mention this but since it's come up i want to listen to really good po- portuguese you gotta listen to gilberto that's g Ooh. O A O Gilberto G I L L B E R T O. He's the father, probably the founding father, one of the really uh, first influencers of uh, bossa nova jazz. Mm-hmm. So you can hear in this nice. Uh, thinking about it right now, I'm just like, should I download some of that right now? <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Like, uh, it's good. It's uh, there's there's an album actually. It's called Gaias Cruzados. That means crossing roads. Yeah, it's a, like a mosaic kind of a cover for it. If you if you want to look it up, listen to that's really good stuff. I love the way he sings too. When it comes to like you know that nice Portuguese and that bossa nova groove, it just hits. It hits different. Yeah. So definitely that. Check that out. And then the, the other band that I really want to talk about, uh, is, they're called Soften the Glare. Fairly new band. There's a uh, 2017 is their first album. It's uh, Making Faces. And Soften the Glare. If you guys don't know what they do. It's, it's instrumental progressive rock. So if you take uh, Primus and then you mix it with... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I had a brain fart. I, I thought of it earlier. I'm like, oh yeah, it's definitely Primus and, and like this band. I can't fucking remember. But if you like Prime, Okay, yeah. If you like Primus and like a... Uh, like a Pink Floyd bravery kind of mix into the music, okay. there's no lyrics in there. There's no lyrics in there. It's all instrumental. So mm-hmm. it's really good nice and progressive just the way you would think about it really I, you can really tell i think these guys probably inspired by primus because it's uh it's like it's like primus just not the lyrics I, I'm, I'm trying to think of like the song too many puppies but then throw some like the bravery like melodic things on top of that i don't know if i can really mash it in my head so i'm gonna have to check it out it's the it's the melodies really between the instruments and like some of the ambient noises that they use in oh. it's uh yeah, listen to Making Faces, their first album, 2017, and their second album called Glint in 2020, the most recent album. I don't know. It's both it's both a great vibe. Honestly, when I first listened to these two albums, I, I didn't know which one I thought was be- was which one I liked more. So, and so I'm like, God, it's, it's good. It's just good music. Yeah. You know, since I only did one recommendation, how about one more, man? Just shout out to uh, The Gorillas. <laughs> Period. Full Just stop. because the gorillas. That's Just a great band. Great. At any point, at any point in your life, gorillas. If you select a random album, just start playing it. You like your change. Plastic Beach, really good. Oh yeah. I messed up the name of that uh, Gilberto album. Oh. It's not Caminos Cruzados. That's the name of one of the songs on the album. Oh. The actual album is called Amoroso. Hmm. That's very different. Yes. The first one you said. It's very good. I read the description. Amoroso, released in 1977, is an album that uses an orchestral arrangement to produce the Brazilian sound of bossa nova. The album features Gilberto on vocals and guitar, backed by a large but not overpowering arrangement. That's all the description is. Right. It is very, very beautiful. And I just downloaded that album right now. I'm like, yeah, it's really good. I was like, fuck. It is. You'll find it someday. No, I downloaded it. Oh, okay. No. I said it was, I just said it was a really good album. I downloaded it right now. Well, that's another album. Well, good for you. Hell yeah. Him and Chet Baker, my favorite since jazz. 
That's it. Well, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here today. So Thanks good. for tuning in, listening to us. It's going to be a long one. I'll yeah. see be surprised if anybody uh, listens to the whole thing. If you do, maybe leave a comment down below. Yeah, leave a comment that says, uh, uh, Bet Shaker. Yeah, that's all we'll know. Bet Shaker. B-E-T-T-C-H-A-K-E-R. Bet Shaker. Mm-hmm. Bo uh, Gilberto. <laughs> no, Bet Shaker. Bet Shaker. Bet Shaker. Bet Shaker. Right. Well, boys, yeah, go follow, uh, subscribe, you know, leave a like. Follow on on my social media down below because it's going on main channel. So yeah, on my on my uh my personal channel, I guess really, the side channel. Gotta the take all the channel. clout. Well, yeah. Hey man, I gotta look at people listening to my music somehow. Yeah, yeah you gotta fucking you gotta get it. But yeah, it'll be there below in the description. Follow me on Instagram. And yeah, much respect. Reach. Oh, peace. Much respect. Respect.